It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots, and today's episode of Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by Neuro Root. You see it right there on the table, baby. Neuro Root. All right? Neuro Root Focus Plus is designed for peak performance and ease of use for the go getters always on the go. We've taken all the things you love about Neuro Root Focus, added some extras under the hood, and made it easier to ingest. Okay? When taking daily, Neuro Root Focus Plus promotes mood, clarity, and memory. What's in it? Vitamin B, lion's mane, black pepper extract, spirulina. What the fuck is that? Spirulina. What is that, Andrew? Uh, it's a good question. I've but never it's heard really of that. It's really good, and uh, it's great for you. It's a vegetable. It's, it's a, a vegetable? Yes. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, caffeine's also in it, and um, and hydrosis. What is that? Uh, I thought you do the podcast with her, don't you? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and hydrosis okay that sounds like something that makes x-men x-men but why neuro root use it for a competitive edge while gaming use it to zero in on your studies use it to get the competitive edge professionally use it as a pre-workout supplement use it to crush the day 100 percent. okay 100%. go to neuroroot.com and use promo code idiots for 20 percent off total purchase now let's start this show uh wax is here yo yeah and, uh one half of the we talk back podcast yes Hailing from the 803 to Metro Columbia, South Carolina. Tam Bam is here. Yes, I'm You know here. what I'm saying? Tam Bam is in here. Uh, she's in New York. She decided to pay homage to Lil' Kim today. I did with my Lil' Kim dress. Yeah. You want to like stand it. up and show it to him? I sure know? do. I would okay. love to. Okay. Suck the stomach in. Come on now. <laughs> That's Lil' Kim uh, when she got arrested. I don't know when. 72496, it says. Yeah. Somebody look Are that up. Th this is just an <laughs> honest question. Are you wearing anything to make you shape like that? Or is oh, that no, this is, this is just grits and cornbread, baby. Holy oh, shit. You're not talking to the mic, Cam. Tell them what you just said into the microphone. You said it's just yeah. what? It's just grits what? and cornbread. That's South that's Carolina. Really? Yeah. South Carolina, born yeah. and bred. Yeah, Don't South. take credit for this. <laughs> 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 you had nothing you to mean? do with this. I'm thick, <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? So solid. <laughs> so solid. Yeah, Solomon, yeah. 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 That grits and cornbread. That skinny little white boy ass you got on. <laughs> grits and cornbread, baby. Wow, but that's crazy. So that's just naturally built that way. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Now, is it night? How old are you now? I'm in my 30s. You're in your 30s. When you were growing up, did you always find that your body type was as appreciated as it is now? Um, I feel like when I was younger, it was more appreciated. Really? Yeah. yeah. Because it was before you could buy it, you know? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Because that's my assumption when I first saw it. I Because you have such a slim waist. Everybody's going to YouTube right now. Anybody who is listening on audio has immediately stopped their SoundCloud <laughs> and they're just going right to YouTube. You know how long I, I've known Tammy? Uh, how long? 20... Maybe 20 years. It, it, yeah, it's so been you about saw the 20. evolution of it. You saw, saw it growing. <laughs> you saw it growing. This shit getting out of control. What's happening over here? Give this woman a podcast or something. <laughs> no, I met her. I met you. I, I met. I remember when I met Tammy. I met Tammy at Big T's Barbecue. Yep, right outside Columbia, the barbecue. South Carolina. You were doing a remote. Yep, on, but on the ferry road. But yep. isn't that so interesting? Like you, and there was a time where you were completely unique, and mm -hmm. you're not completely unique, but it was very rare. Right. And now so many girls are shoving shit in their bodies to look. Like you now. That wasn't look. rare back then, though. It wasn't? I mean, it was a lot of women in South Carolina that are built like me, you know? Okay. Yeah, and are. what's going on down there that we should- We're eating we cornbread and grits. In right. the suburbs. Yeah. I need to take some of them grits to the cul-de-sacs, bro. Like, what the fuck is happening? You want to you have your basketball party in South Carolina? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Charleston, here we go. Well, that's Columbia. That's the Metro. Oh, yeah, the Metro. Columbia. Yeah, that's the 803. Oh, okay, okay. And now, the when you go to the Geechee area- is it even crazier? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because they eating rice, too. <laughs> them gal rice, bookie big now. Grits. Yeah. Yeah, them gal bookie big keep, down there now. How do you keep the waist in and then still have a uh, robust bottom? I don't know. I, you know, some people, like, they'll say things like, oh, is your body fake? Yeah. And I talked to my dad about it. I was like, people say your at my ass is fake. And he's like, just show him a picture of your grandfather. So my granddaddy got a fat ass. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, my Charles, stop. Charles, Charles, really? Whoa, like, really? Oh, you got, I got you beat, fam. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Let us see. Let us see that booty. All right, turn around. Let me see. Hold on. Tell me how 
Yo, tell him. Oh, you think, Andrew? You think? Yo, bring me some of that I'm damn. Sick, <laughs> I, man, you spray fucking lights all on that shit, man. You spray on. What's it's that shit you spray on flat surfaces? <laughs> What's the shit called? I don't know. I wouldn't know. No, I'm thick, I wouldn't bro. know. Over I'm here, thick. I wouldn't know. Zero <laughs> recollection, bro. This is all tuna sandwiches. <laughs> you ain't never had tuna sandwiches. Yeah. Put an ass together like this. Okay? Tuna sandwiches. Ooh. Central Park West. <laughs> okay? Some fucking matzo ball soup. <laughs> Got me stacked. Oh, man. <laughs> but, that's, but that's good. I'm glad that you appreciate uh, the finer things in South Carolina. Yeah, I mean, no, it's, it's, it is, it's obviously you're a beautiful woman, but it is like so unique. You know, sometimes like, I think that guys, we get in trouble for like objectifying, but sometimes things are so unique that, that you have to stare. Like you ever see somebody like, uh, you ever see like a dark skin and I'll do, I'll make it male to male. You see like a dark skin dude with like blue eyes and you're like, that's beautiful. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, you know, it's nothing sexual, yeah. you know, and then you see it and I think. Well, in your case, I'm not saying there's nothing sexual, but I'm not saying that there is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the fiance. I'm, I'm but I said, we in the same position. You over here talking yeah, like. I feel like a magazine Christ. just opened up and a person walked out when you're here. Okay, oh, thank you. Shit. That's a beautiful yeah. Yeah. Damn, Damn, bam. Don't you know what it feels? It's like, yeah. whoa, it's just thank crazy. You. And it's 100% natural. Yes. The oh, saddest so part about this whole conversation is oh. she's single as fuck. I'm Are so you single? As fuck. Really? Like and you want to start dating white guys, you just said. Yeah. I'm, I'm, she said that behind the scenes. That's what you I'm know is getting I'm kind of open, <laughs> open to it at this point. I think you should. Listen, white guys. You white go, guys don't come up to me because they're intimidated they by my they ass. They yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. we don't, don't even know how me. we're going to get in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Explain. So, you know, like, uh, yeah, there's some physics going on here. Uh-huh. You know? So it's just like, do I have enough length to really get to the bottom of it? Yeah. When you see all that, why are you jumping? To, why are you jumping to sex though? You don't even know her. You got to get to know her and court her, and you know, see if y'all are compatible. She might not even want to give you nothing, right. bro. What happened to you? What do you mean? I've always said that. <laughs> what do you? I think that's the yeah, highest level of arrogance <laughs> for a man to just assume they're gonna hit. You know, and guys be like, "I'm gonna hit that." How you know? Right. No, no, I never confidence. assumed I was gonna hit. Confidence. But if it does go there, and I really like you, and I'm gonna have. Uh, you know, a connection with you and we're going to build on something, you're going to need to be satisfied. And I think yes. that's where the insecurity comes from. Like, will I be able to satisfy that girl? Yeah, 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 I yeah, think yeah. that's why they're But you never know till you try, right? Exactly. You don't know. I think a lot of guys are intimidated. Yeah. Obviously, not a guy like me. From a woman's you perspective, how, how, how is that, Tam? From a woman's perspective, when you say, you know, you never know until you try, you give a guy a try and he can't do it. From a woman's perspective, how do you handle that? I mean, I'm willing to teach, you know? If I like if I like the man, yeah. You can teach now I can't teach his dick to grow, That's obviously. What I mean. like, you can't well, teach then I'm a, I'm gonna send, well, send him back to the streets if he can't God satisfy damn. me. Yeah, damn. man. What am I supposed to do? Is I, we're doing a disservice to myself and to him at that point. Have you ever had a white guy hit on you? Yeah, 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 I have. And did you interpret it as him like trying to help you or something like that? Like he thought you were lost or something? <laughs> Actually, the other, so polite, last night right? we were in Times Square. We were in Times Square, and this white guy was like, "Hey, can you help me find Times Square?" And I was like, "That was his pickup line." Yeah, that was it. I, like yeah. that. I was like, "That shit was scared the shit out of me." I'd be like, "This <laughs> motherfucker, the shooter." The fuck you mean? Yeah, around here you gotta watch yourself. He probably was looking for it for real. So was he in like a Pikachu outfit or something like that? No, or? no, he was just dressed normally, but uh, yeah. he wasn't my type. So I just kind of. Like, I think you need to start dating some white guys. I yeah. say this to black women all the time. Just start dating some white guys. Just understand us. You know, you'll find a white guy, have a great appreciation for you. You can walk all over him. And then <laughs> I don't want anybody I can walk all over. But I think it's too difficult to walk all over. You know, I think it's too difficult. No, that got, doesn't sound fun. No, we've got generational wealth. It's a different thing. Not all. Okay? <laughs> just storm away in this big house. You just keep walking. There's never an end. I think it's yeah, too that difficult. sounds great. Actually. Yes. Yeah, I think it's too difficult to interracial date in this climate. Yeah, I do, really? Especially, yeah, especially with social media, because really? as much as we try to act like social media doesn't influence our behavior, it does. So the moment you post a picture with your white king. And they start calling you a bad winch yeah. and a sellout right. and everything else. No you start looking it. at him funny. No you know right. what I mean? Ooh. Then I'm also scared to see white dick, honestly. Why? I just not. I don't know what it looks like. I just imagine a brat that hasn't been on a grill. A brat like a, <laughs> a brat worse. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's brat esque. You know what I mean? It's pink. It's different. It's a different dick. Yeah. yeah. So it is. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a different dick, but like it is what it is. It's a beautiful dick. You know I just, what I mean? You know, it's fantastic. It's a different color. <laughs> but we shouldn't judge people for the color of their skin. We should right. judge them for the content of their testicles. No. <laughs> you can work that one better. Yeah. Like, I, was moving, right? I was moving, right? I was moving. I was moving. Hey, what else I got? What else I got? Hey, Come on, Charlotte Cook. What else I got? Come on. Don't judge me. For the content of my cock, for his character. Don't, don't, no, yeah, yeah. don't. What is it now? Don't judge me for the co uh, the color of someone's skin. Yes, judge boom. Them. Don't judge me for the color of my cock. Judge it for the content of the cock. The don't testicles. The, the content <laughs> of the testicles. <laughs> don't judge me for the color of my skin. Judge me for the content, for the content of, of my cock. See, I want Andrew yeah. to work that one out because that's one of them that ones that we say that piss people off. Uh, I got a bar though, right? Yeah, bars. You know what I mean? White bars. dick is fire. Yo, white dick for 2021. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think that's good. I think we get Taylor a white boyfriend. We get you a white boyfriend. No. And just try it out. You never know. Maybe you could pick up some things with the white guys. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, I like that. And that's a standard that I, well, you know, want It'll to be It'll never work. I just think culturally, we're just so different. Yeah, I, I can't know. see it. Not for them. I, can, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with interracial relationships, but I just can't see them in interracial relationships. Al, is the product of an interracial relationship. You are? Yeah. Well, yeah. My dad's black. My mom's Puerto Rican. Oh, oh, that's like oh. black and black. Oh. And black. <laughs> now Puerto Ricans have no identity. I see that's how it is. is. But yeah. they definitely yeah. have an identity. That's but it's like man. it's it like is. black adjacent. Yeah, because kinda. when you go to her family's house, all that shit is different. Everything is different. They louder. They louder. The food's different. The culture's different. Everything's different. Uh, the language. Eat fried chicken. Yeah, man. Fried chicken, potato. You salad, know what it is salad. though. It's not the same because it's not a history of like yeah. you know animosity between blacks and Puerto Ricans. That's the difference. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I mean... We got off to a rocky start here in America. We did get off to a rocky people, start. You know what I mean? So, you know? But we're doing yeah. great. Certain people are doing great and you can have long-lasting relationships and you can have um, a nice, you know, pinky flesh-colored uh, dangling. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I do want to know why Tan Bam is single. Why do you think you're I single? I don't know. I'm starting to think it's me. Probably. I feel like I'm the fun girl. What's that mean? I'm the good time. I'm fun. I like to laugh and joke, but nobody takes me serious. Wow. They just want to have fun with me. Mm. I don't have anybody that I've ever dated that wouldn't come back. Anybody. But it just seems like <laughs> nobody wants anything <laughs> she looks really so serious. <laughs> Is someone in the room? <laughs> Is there someone in the room? <laughs> no, I'm not speaking. I noticed Wax is awfully quiet today. How you doing? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you guys have a this relation? We, we, we was no, talking about the time for a mid roll. <laughs> 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 this kind of episode wrong. has been brought to you by Blue Chew, baby. <laughs> Uh, that can't be right. We're only three minutes in. No uh, way. It's impossible. No, no, no. 14, 14. Hold on, oh. hold on. Why? What's going on? Let's get to the Nothing bottom is of this. Going no, no, on. I'm not. Yeah, I'm just speaking sense. in general. But did you guys ever have relations or anything? Why do you think, Tammy, that... Um, <laughs> <laughs> why do you think nobody's ever taken you serious? I, I won't say nobody has ever taken me serious. I just feel like in recent years, it's just all fun. And maybe it's me. Maybe it's the guys that I'm choosing as well. That's wild, though, because you're... Can I ask him one question? Older, yeah. And it has nothing to do with whatever we were alluding to before. But when it comes to guys like not taking you serious, what would they say? Would they say shit like, like I don't know nothing? Well, it's like, actions. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, probably, it's more actions than words, right? Right. It's, yeah, it's definitely actions. Yeah. A lot of them want yeah. Good one. variety. <laughs> Yeah, you're something else. I want, but see, it's wild though, right? Because you're 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 older now, so I would think that the fun girl stuff would have been way back when. Is I'm just a good time. Like I like to have fun. I like to laugh. I like to joke. And I just feel like people keep me around for that. Mm. Are you setting boundaries though? Are you letting guys know you're looking for more than that? I do. How do you do? Taylor that? shakes her head. I do. I you know I ask questions like, what do you want? Do you are you ready for a girlfriend? Are you do you want a serious relationship? Yeah, and they be like. I don't, I don't know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no, no not, not that. They'll say something like, I don't, you know. 
I don't know what I'm ready for. <laughs> I don't know what I'm. It's in God's hands. Yeah, some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy though, know, because Tam, Tam Bam, Tam Bam is Tam, Tam Bam is Tam Bam is. Shut the fuck up, bro. What I, what I miss? <laughs> what I miss? He's just having way too much fun with this guy. Here, that's all. <laughs> Tam Bam is clearly beautiful. She's smart. She can cook her ass off. Yes, I yep. can. And she got her own business. Yes, and I did. Yeah, you're, you're hairdresser. You've been yes. a hairdresser for a long time. Long time. Yep. I'm going to have my own salon. So she don't need nothing other than just love. <laughs> That's built, it. Yeah, built unique, uniquely. Yes. I've never All natural. Attention. You might not have paid attention. That's fair. But I, was, I wasn't going to disrespect you by not noticing you. Like you were seen. There's a lot of men that... <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 for real, you are seen. You know, I gotta say that <laughs> these men come along. There's, a, there's no, there's always somebody. You know, in my yeah. DMs, there's always a guy, but yeah. it's just never anything real. What's no. the other constant other than you? What do you mean? Like, what's the constant in the relationship that you can point to? You could be like, okay, that might be the issue. Is there something that you do that might turn the guy off? Black guys. Are you too pushy? Black guys. Meaning, meaning are you too pushy? Black meaning, like, guys. I want to get married. I want something. Black no, guys. no, I don't come off as, like, desperate like okay. and needy. I don't think I do that. I, it, I think it might be the type of guys that I'm dating. I really do. What kind of guys do <laughs> you date? Man, man? <laughs> rich. Rich. Uh, athletes. Rappers. God, it. these type of guys. Any uh, um, like chicken farm connoisseurs? Got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it got Not in a long got it, got time. It, got it. Not no, a long time. A very rich, long time. No. Rich athletes, rappers. I mean, uh, not even, not even just that because it like professional men. I've even dated like guys who are just <laughs> your everyday guy, but it just always goes south for some reason. And I do have a slick tongue. I'm working on that. Like, oh, that though. Only a, only a sucker, insecure man to be intimidated by that. Yeah, I mean, usually, yeah, that's an advantage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but some people don't like that. I like, want a woman that speaks her mind. I want a woman that's going to stand up for herself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because that's the type of person you would want to be the head of your household. Right, but you also need Talking to Talking about head in the household, what is a slick tongue? Like, just, you know, I can be sharp with what I say. Oh, not like, got you. Yeah, okay, not, like that. That <laughs> not like that. crazy way. Not like that. Just, I can be sharp with what I say sometimes. Like, undercut be... someone, make them feel really fucking stupid. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can use, like, when a time where you decided to be vulnerable with me and then in an argument. Take advantage of that? That's fucked up. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, up. yo son. I'm working on that. That's fucked up. Because if, if I'm honest with you and I'm opening it up to you, don't that's use that against up. me. In an argument. <laughs> right. I agree. And that's what that's something I'm working on. So. What's the one? When, 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 give me an example. <laughs> Would that be fun? Up Give me somebody an example. Would do okay, that. I had um, <laughs> my last relationship. Uh, he shared with me that <laughs> he thought that one of the kids that was his might not be his child. Mm. Ouch. So then in an argument, we, it was something about the kids. And I said, that ain't your fucking kid anyway. Whoa. See, and that was that was ugly. Whoa. That's Whoa. an example. What happened? Whoa. What what was the argument? I can't. No remember. no no no. What happened? He afterwards. broke up with you immediately. He's no, he did not. But he said, "I would rather you call me a fuck nigga than say what you said." Like, mm. I would rather you say things like that because I don't, I don't cuss men. I don't call them yeah, bitches yeah, yeah, yeah. and like things How'd that like make that. You feel when he said that. I felt bad, you know. I felt bad, and I wish I could take it back. But once you say something, you know, you that's can't right. Take it back. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Damn. So I mean, that was a growing thing for me. You know, I learned like. Don't cut so low, Tam. You mm. know? But now I just need a man to try it with. Like, let me try <laughs> not to cut you. You know? Where well, is he, hopefully though? after this podcast, you might can find somebody. Yeah. Maybe. I, well, I'm not. I don't want to find someone. I want them to find me. Mm. Mm. That's the best way to look at it. That's the best way to look yeah. at it. White guys, I'm telling you. Y'all want to get into some positively brilliant? What a fucking idiot. Can we just talk about Simone Biles already or the baby? Let's, let's just talk it. about yeah, let's, go, let's go. Which one? Let's start. Let's start. What do you think? Uh, let's start with Simone Biles. Crazy. Simone Biles. Uh, I have a question to you. Yes. Who do you think went through more pressure in their life, in their professional career? Uh, Michael Jordan or Simone Biles? Um, and this question seems stupid on the surface, but I, I don't think it's that stupid when you think about the climate now. Who went through more pressure in their professional careers? That's a great question. I don't know because, I mean, probably Jordan's. I mean, it depends, right? Because it's different levels. Like, when you say professional NBA, I'm going to say NBA. Michael Jordan's first seven years probably was hell. You know what I mean? And he even said he had to get physically and mentally 
tougher. Yep. He said that's why he put on 25 pounds of muscle. Mm-hmm. And to beat the Detroit Pistons, he had to get mentally tougher. Yep. And then once he got into that mind state, we probably never seen a will like this in any sport ever. Yep. He did not lose but, at all. But he also had to take a break. Yes, he did, uh-huh. Charlotte. When his, when his father got, got killed, killed yeah. he, because that was too mentally and emotionally okay. draining for him. And not only that, he had won three in a row. Mm-hmm. And I think he had a conversation with himself, which was, I know what it will take for me to do four. I don't want to play this game and not win. Mm-hmm. I don't think I have what it takes Absolutely. right now with everything going on Absolutely. in Absolutely. order to do four. I Absolutely. have to remove myself. Now, I'm not capping for Simone here, but what I am doing is taking what she said at face value, which is because people are starting to have this conversation like, is it selfish? Is it brave? And Whatever, fuck like them that. people. Okay. And just to keep everybody like abreast of what's going on, basically, she pulled out of the uh, group event in gymnastics. And, and individual. Now, now she pulled out of the individual, individual overall as well. You can play mm-hmm. a clip out. And, um, so, and people are going, oh, this is incredibly selfish. I don't think it's selfish if, What's but I don't think selfish? it's brave. Uh, so, like, there's two things going on here. Selfish is wrong because if you're injured and you compete on your team and your injury causes you to play worse and take your team down, mm-hmm. that's selfish to me. It is. You know what I mean? Like, if yeah. you're playing makes your team worse, but you just want the glory, now you're being selfish. You know what's so crazy about what you just said? It's not crazy because it's accurate. When you're physically hurt, people want you to go out there and mentally lift your team just by being out there. They think yep. your yeah. presence yeah. just yeah. being out there and mm-hmm. you pushing through will mentally lift the other team. That's what they say. Yo, you you, yeah, you will well. your team to win. To success, yeah. So they yes. want you to go out there and add, give give uh, the rest of the team the mental aspect they do now, though. to push through. They do though. When you out there, you got hurt ribs or something like that, you go out there, your team will play harder for you because they know that team. Base, and right? that's true. That's something that does I'm happen in this, football the, the and stuff dude, like the, that. The well, New York Reed. Nick, uh, was, was it Willis Reed? Was it Willis Reed? Yeah, Willis Reed when he yes. came limping out. Yeah, yeah, His yeah, knee was yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, came yeah, out, your whole the team going to rally the around you. They're going to really go hard. Yeah, yeah. 100%. But in so, some, so, some places, but isn't hers like she's an individual sport, though? No, nah, it's individual and team. Yeah. Well, so so yeah, it's individual, the thing you do, but all the scores, I guess, get combined for the, for the team thing. So Peace. if you're fucking up, you're going to hold back the other people, mm-hmm. right? So so I, I understand that. And but I am taking what she's saying as truth. Like she was mentally unfit. She's like, I am going through some mental shit that's not allowing me to do the physical shit that I need to do to be myself and help mm-hmm. my team. Mm-hmm. So I don't think that's selfish. Respect. There is bravery in facing the scrutiny after making that decision. So that I understand is being brave, but I don't think there's anything brave about going, I'm not able to handle the pressure of this moment, even though that pressure is immense. Well, guess what? She didn't say she's brave. Yeah, yeah, other people. Other people. Other people would say. All she did was tell people her story. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell you something. I respect her so much because I'm 43 years old, and I just got to the point in my life where I tell people no. Because it's been times I'm not showing up just because I'm starting to have a panic attack. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? I've been sitting at the airport. I remember one time, and I think I told y'all this before, uh, every flight was canceled because of a snowstorm. Mm. Every single fucking flight, except for my flight to LA. Mm. I sat at that terminal and caught a panic attack so bad. I'm like, I'm mm. not going to, and I was supposed to go shoot at Mac Miller's house, God bless the dead, mm. me and Nesta for MTV too. I said, I'm not going. I didn't tell MTV that I was having a panic attack because mm. I wasn't speaking about that shit back then. I was just yeah. like, I just let them know like, mm-hmm. man, I'm not coming. I'm not, you know, I can't, I can't, I, I can't do it. I want to stay home. It's a snowstorm. It's a blizzard, blah, blah, blah. So yeah. for her to be that age, to have the language to be able to express that and the education to know what it is she's experiencing and to let people know I'm not doing X, Y, and Z because of my mental health. That mm. is I wish I had that. That's brave. Years. Now, here's my question. Did... She put some of this on herself. As far as what? I saw her walking around with sandals that had the goat on them. I saw her with a leotard that had the goat and rhinestones. You know, I she was asked uh, in a in an interview once, like, "Can anybody beat you?" She's like, "I don't know." Like, she was definitely leaning into her own greatness, which I love. I think we all love. Peace. We love Ooh. to see Floyd Gotta Mayweather. At least I do. Calling himself the best ever. I gotcha. call it like. I think it's exciting for us to see these larger than life characters live up to that. That being said, there's a pressure that comes with it, okay? And you're adding more pressure on to that moment. And if it's pressure that makes you not live up to the moment, 
So you have to take some accountability but, for adding to that pressure. But we're assuming that she feels that way because of sports. We don't know what's got her right. mentally exhausted. <laughs> we have no idea. Uh, life problems. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah. Like, we don't know what's going on in her personal life. And it's none of our business. We don't know what's going on in her personal life. We don't know what's going on with her family. We don't know what uh, made her uh, take a, a step back. She could be, she could be pregnant. Oh God! Well, yo, honestly, I was having that conversation. We had that <laughs> conversation saying, on flavor, it's right? Heavy. It's, it's, it's good, not but... pregnant, but think about it. You've achieved everything you need to achieve. You're the you're the goat, right? People yeah. recognize you as the goat. Spit. You're not going to be any more goaded by doing well in this Olympics. You're already the goat. Mm -hmm. So you can't be the only person you could be is yourself. We don't believe that gymnastics is a high risk sport. Like we just don't think of it that way. I think dudes, but like you could. Fuck Land that. on your fucking head really fuck and really fuck and yourself gymnastics up. Gymnastics is one of the illest sports. Yeah, but we don't think it's just like people four feet tall doing it. Right? Anything it I can't do, <laughs> <laughs> anything I know I can't do like that. I'm just saying we don't view it as dangerous. Like when I see gym gymnasts yeah. do some shit, I'm like, oh, that's kind of crazy. But they're so little yeah. if they fail, nothing happens. Yeah, right? I'd be scared. No, they I do. That's nothing. When they be in the air doing all of this, I'm like, how is she gonna land? Yeah, but it's soft. Like that's what I tell no, myself. I, I, I like, seen her soft. doing on the mound the other day. She was about to pitch a ball. And she, and she just, just did a screw. Did a backflip. What the fuck is that? No, yeah. that was a screw. That was some it was wild a screw shit. And a back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was unbelievable. Yeah. I'm, I'm shocked y'all know what backhand tucks and stuff are. Come I ain't on, say backhand bro. tucks. I got a daughter, so I know. Do y'all feel daughter. the same way about Naomi Osaka? Because she, she same just... exact way. I listen. I'm anybody with mental health issues. You, you can't tell people why they are mentally exhausted. I know for a fact. I don't like to be around anything or anybody that mentally exhausts me, and I don't like to be around anything or anybody when I'm mentally exhausted. Yeah. But I'm literally just at the point where we can even have that conversation where people but, understand that language. But, right. That's that's part of the job. Mental exhaustion is part of the job, and the people that can handle that mental exhaustion better than anybody else are going to be the ones that exceed and excel at that job. And I feel like we're in a situation where like our brains haven't caught up to what we've created. Like we created this social media shit, mm -hmm. right? Like we created this shit where you could comment on me any second of the day, where you Change can write a story moves. about me, judge me, yeah. where all these different things are about me. And you're talking about right now the most recognizable athlete at the Olympics. I don't count the NBA stars because they're not Olympians. They're yeah. the hired guns. NBA, yeah. This is an Olympic sport. Nobody gives a fuck about gymnastics outside the Olympics. And then when they do, I can only name one person in the Olympics outside of NBA players, and that is Simone Biles. I don't know a single full name of another Olympian. I know two. But isn't that crazy? I know Simone Biles and I know uh, Raven, Raven Saunders because she's from Charleston, South Carolina. The 843. How did she okay. go in the shot put today, by the way? Justin Gatlin. Eight oh, yeah. I know Gwen Berry. Uh, the girl who uh, turned away from the ant, they made a whole fucking thing about that. And I know the women's player, I know Asia Wilson, because she's also from Columbia to 803. Sure. But you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, like yeah, she's yeah, yeah. she's under immense pressure. Absolutely. She's a star. That's what I'm saying. Jordan didn't have to go through that. Jordan, Jordan had the newspaper, he had Sports Center at night, and that's it. You could turn your yeah. phone off, you don't see shit. This girl getting texted articles every five seconds. Right. Not only that, she probably got 10 different deals signed, sealed, delivered. If she wins the all around again, Nike's going to cut her this check yeah. and her oh. agent and her family that works for her gets a piece of that. And all these people are about to make so much fucking money off this one person as long as she excels. And that shit, I understand, is good. I saw her say that. I don't, I don't yeah. know if this was recent, but I read that and I, I don't even know if that shit was real. But she said she feels like she's doing it for everybody except for her. Yep. I respect. How can you not like, respect though. that? Right. And, and for like. everything you said. Everything you just said is the reason I respect it even more. Because she's at the top. she got all of this to gain. And she unplugged and took a step back because she wasn't feeling like she was where she needed to be mentally and emotionally. I respect the yeah, fuck out beautiful. of it. Yeah, that's beautiful. I don't. Especially working you so don't? hard. No, I don't respect Jesus. it. Jesus. I don't respect it within the confines of the sport because that's part of the sport. I respect her as a human being and I empathize with what she's going through, but I also recognize that that immense pressure is what you got to deal with. Like, if the president just goes, Comes I'm it. feeling shitty today, I'm not going to be president, we're going to be like, hey, back to work. He probably does feel like that all the time. He just stays home and don't get on Twitter and tell everybody. Well, this president, definitely. But <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker take all the time he wants. But but you understand what I'm saying? Like, there are certain positions you can't just be, like, sad and then stay home. You I remember I mean? when... Like, but who decided gymnastics was one of them? No. It's not, except for one week out of the year. Or out of every four years. Okay. Yeah. It's like, one week out of every four years, you got to have your shit together no matter yeah. what's going on. Mental you gotta health spend all this the, time. Yeah, exactly. You got to spend the other four years getting your shit ready for that yeah. one week. And if there are things that are bothering you, you got to make sure you weed those out. And I think the greats find ways to do that. 
The it, greats it, focus it, on these things. It, they study. Easier said than done because we like when players have bad games now, we don't know why they have bad games. You know what I'm saying? We'd be like, oh, he had an off night. We don't know what. You know what I think about? I think about when LeBron was playing the Celtics that year. And everybody was, was like, what the fuck is wrong with Bron? Yeah. And, and you've held that against him. You've been, hey, yeah, he's yeah. mentally weak. He don't got it. No, but I thought about it this morning. I'm like, yo, what? Because that was when everybody was saying it was that rumor about Deuce Delonte. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, yo, we don't know if, what, what, how that might have been impacting Bron at the time. Yeah, oh, we yeah. do know. Oh, but no, yeah. I'm, I'm saying, we, yeah, we, I don't know. But I'm just saying, that's what the rumor was. And we saw wow. him play and something was clearly off. Wrong, yeah. Yeah, so. Sure. Think about that every time you see a player have an off game. Yeah, some sure some people just have off nights. Some people just mentally might not, their head may not be in the game. The coach used to say it all the time, get your head in the game. Yeah. What yeah. do you think that means? I'm talking about somebody might be pregnant or something like that. <laughs> get your head in the game nah, means mentally. So the pregnancy get shit, your head in the game. The reason why this shit made sense to me is like if, if she's already the GOAT, right? She's probably playing her future. I think she's 24 years old. She might have a boyfriend, right? And she's like, yo, this is my last Olympics. I know my life has been crazy. After this, Let's get married. Let's have some fucking kids. Yo, when you start thinking about what you could lose, like you about to do this vault, mm -hmm. yeah. you can land your neck. No more kids. Yo, I no love more. humans. This is why social media is what it is. Why? <laughs> because think about all of these different narratives y'all done made, made up. up. <laughs> <laughs> you know That's what, what I'm saying? Y'all just made up a whole bunch of narratives simply because she said, she don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. That's but a, it could by be the way, all that stuff. Yo, you though. never thought about this? Like, like you go on like cliff jumping or some shit with your friends, and then you think about all the success you got, and I'm like, and you're like, am I about to fuck? Well, Kevin die Hart just jumping? did that when they told Kevin Hart he could go to space, and Kevin yeah, was like, I'm not. Kevin was like, no, I got I'm kids. Too good. Yeah, I got a career. Nice. Sure, you know what I mean. But in this situation, I just don't know. But I just think that sometimes when a person says, I don't want to do it, that should be enough. Charlamagne, you go cliff jumping now? Hell no. Oh. That's my point. <laughs> so, so, so you telling me if somebody's in the hospital and a doctor just said, "I just don't want to do it," how much more you think they get? You know, how much? Please, you doctor, got? if your head ain't in the game, don't operate. No, I hear what you're saying, right. but what if everybody? If it's you or nobody, shit, operate on me. Somebody got to do it. it. it get depends. your head into the shit. Else, who else can be in yes. her place? Nobody else going in her place. That's fine, but guess what? Uh, heart surgery and gymnastics are not the same thing. So in her mind, she knows. This shit ain't as, this shit ain't as important as what's going yeah, on. Ain't in nobody my life. gonna die. Ain't you know right. what I mean? But now you, yeah, I, I agree. It's not a life or death situation, right? It's not a life or death situation. It is a silly thing. We just make these people jump up and down and do fucking like front flips. <laughs> but they get paid for it. <laughs> I it's reserve, I <laughs> reserve the right to say fuck that shit. But not wax well, no. I'll that. be. I get to the door and be like, I ain't going. We out. Yeah, we, we should out. normalize it. We out. <laughs> but if it was an if it was a massive event, it was something really important. You Boom. would show up. You bullshit, man. <laughs> Those are my favorite to pull out on. Nah, but if it's a, <laughs> because you when you pull out on the big ones, they know. Boy, he don't bullshit. He ain't gonna be there. <laughs> yeah, them the ones you pull out on. You don't wait till those so small ass. I can yeah. miss that one. Yeah. You pull out on the big joint. But what if it's like a movie, your movie about your life, and you're playing you, <laughs> and you got to show up to shoot? You just gonna not show up? Well, it's different. The movie you made it sound like the movie was already shot. No, nah, I'm saying it, it's it, I, I, something decide, that you need to be it, there it, for. It, it really just depends, yo. I'm gonna be honest with you. It depends. By the way, a movie is easier to do. You know why a movie is easy to do? Because I'm acting. Yeah, if I can go there and act happy. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. The shit might even take my mind off. Yeah, the bullshit that's going on. Yeah, you can't be pregnant. You can't be pregnant. Man, what is wrong with what is I'm just saying. But you just have to think what she must be going through to decide make this decision. Word it up. has to be yes. something huge, yeah. you know? Yeah, she's probably going through some stuff and she's got tons of pressure. But at the same time, it's like your job to prepare yourself for this pressure you're about to go through, right? Like if you're going to assume the responsibility of being the GOAT, if you're going to lean into being the GOAT and that is who you want to identify as, you know, like I keep thinking about Tom Brady, bro. Like, Tom Brady going to the fucking Patriots had everything to lose, bro. Like, everything to, bucks to lose. To me. Bucks, so, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. Bucks. Leaving the Patriots, he had everything to lose. Going Did to the Bucks. He? Everything to lose, bro. Like, he's playing hot with house money. Nah, yeah, he because, does whatever he fuck he wants. Because think about it. If he goes there and loses, everybody gets to say, oh, he's just a system quarterback. He needs Belichick to win. He can't win without... Well, 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 well. It. It's a debate. It would have been a debate more so than anything. And now the debate is over. He took it and he, he basically mm -hmm. squashed it. His is. biggest hater? You can't hate on me anymore. Well... I, I think Michael Jordan is a great example. Michael wasn't any less of a GOAT 
because he took a, a mental and emotional break because his pops just got killed. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And plus, and, we knew, though. We knew it was his father and stuff. Nobody knows what's going on. And see, that. that's the th that right there, what Wax said, is the problem. Yeah. When we don't know, we have to make ourselves feel that's better. That's why we talking all this shit. It's right the same right. thing with Chappelle. <laughs> why would Chappelle walk away from 50 minutes? You don't know what he was going through. Why would Andre 3000 walk away? We don't know what they were going through. Why would Lauren Hill do? We don't know. We can always say what we would do. But none of us have been in that situation. And then right. once that comes out, everything starts to make a lot it more sense. It makes more sense. We just want to know. Because for everything you just named, she's the GOAT. She got all these endorsements that could have come, all this money she could have made. Why would you walk away from that? I don't care what the reason is. I respect it. Because I know what she walked away from. Yeah. And it don't make her no less, of the, no, no, no less of the GOAT. We're going to see a lot more of this, Hill. I love You're going to see a lot more of this in sports. No, a we're going to see a lot more of it in life, but it's a good thing. I'm going to yes. tell you why. Yeah. If all of us for years have been saying we have to have these conversations about eradicating the stigma around mental health, right? Now that we're in a place in our society where people feel comfortable talking about their mental health, mm -hmm. why would we knock them? A lot of people don't know when they got mental health problems, though. They think I, they okay. You! That's why I you in therapy crying that. and shit now. <laughs> Stop. I ain't crying. I just uh, yell. What's wrong with you crying? No, no. What you, oh, you want me to cry right now? Like, what you doing? Why well, can't we be like, what you tell me, yo? I cried. Yes. I what's wrong yelling. with crying, though? What's I, wrong this, with I'm, at, I'm at premarital counsel. I'm not crying. Yelling is how fun. What's wrong crying. with crying? I was yelling and crying. <laughs> yelling is how what was you yelling about? <laughs> just yelling. Yell I, I, want, just, I want some say on, so come, in come life. On, come on, come on, come Calm down. I don't think calm men down. guys breathe. Say, oh, here we go. <laughs> Listen, take some deep breaths. Take some deep breaths. Men don't have say so in life. I was just screaming, which I know is not going to happen. Men don't no have men, say so? Not no no marriage and anything like that. No relationship. Men not going to have no say so. So I get it. Why don't you have any say so? Because if you win, you really lost because you beat her. And if you lose, you won because you let her win. Who told you that? The therapist. See, he learning. That's a trash I'm learning. Yeah. That's a trash therapist. You need a therapist going to stand up for you. Uh, huh? You need a therapist going to- No, you don't. Yes, you, you need do. a nice, gonna, objective gonna get trouble. You're going to get in trouble. Nah, a nice, objective therapist. So you tell me that you stand up to your girl? Say what? Exactly. I tell you something. I'm going to tell you an ill line. <laughs> Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, right? The GOATs, the legends, the gods, the icons. They was on Breakfast Club. Who? Jimmy Jam and Terry. Don't, don't be disrespectful. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. I have no clue who they right? are. Uh, wow. Jimmy Jam. Where are they from? Are they Geechee? Minnesota, Minneapolis. Uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, they said Minnie? that they said the reason they've never had any argument mm -hmm. is because when you have an argument, that means uh, somebody wins and somebody loses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was like, why would I want my partner to lose? I don't want to lose. So, I so they up. just communicate is what they That's do. right. He said they have differences and they communicate their differences instead of having just oh, arguments. Oh, and I learned. I uh, agree everything with Everything is not stupid that women say. That's that's a good thing to learn, Max. <laughs> what? I mean, he's not used to being vulnerable. See, that's the thing. <laughs> <No>. That therapist... <laughs> Peeling back them layers. That's why he yelling and yeah, crying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Those who grabbing band-aids and snatching band-aids band off. Band -aids. And I'm like, yo, that was healing. Yeah. Leave that alone. That was back there. Why are you even asking no, about that? No, it wasn't no, no, no. It, it was just it. covered up. That's all. <clears throat> See how many times I told you that? I but I after after we talk about it and fuck it all up and all that, no. why you coming back up? You take it, the band-aid off, you clean it out, you know what I'm saying? Because you didn't clean it before. You clean the pus off, you put some peroxide, meal porn on it, then you put the band-aid back on it so you can now, actually heal. Right. All right, well, but that's like, the hard you're part. Better healing. There, no therapy sucks though. Honestly. Oh, Tammy, you just started going to therapy. Yeah, too. I did. I don't like it. It just feels like I'm reliving an so episode shit. of Grey's Anatomy. That's the point. I'm keep just reliving so this shit over and over again. Every but, time, I just feel upset when I leave. That's the point. I don't like it. It's supposed to make you feel oh, so uncomfortable like at first. It's growth. Un being uncomfortable makes you grow. I guess being in the frying pan. Huh. Like when you're in a frying pan, the food won't be done unless it's cooked. <laughs> what? So if, it, if, it, if it's not I don't hot. like how y'all bring everything back to chicken in front of white people. <laughs> <laughs> Why? We didn't have a nice said, conversation about therapy. If food being cooked, you need it well done. So you got to put it in the frying pan. It got to go through the heat. It got to go that's through right, the right, pan. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, for it to be good. Let's use, I like diamonds. You got you like that diamonds? pressure. Yeah, that pressure. You got yeah, that cold. Put that pressure on that cold. I can say a lot of things. I can talk about cars. They get mad. All right. <sighs> therapy gonna end up being the best thing for y'all. You go. You've been to therapy, right, Joe? Yeah, and you love it, don't you? You love it. I don't like it. I. It's not you know what's like. nice is just talking to somebody for you know 30, 40, 50 minutes, or whatever, and not feeling judged. Judged. <laughs> just like get it out of the system. Man, maybe I need yeah. to do it by myself then, because I get judged. Yeah, you should. Y'all should do couples therapy and then individual therapy. Right. Yo, but you know what? 
if you're being judged by your therapist, then yeah, maybe that's not the right one. Give the therapist. I, I, I wouldn't say judge. Can you imagine this guy grand. in front of you yelling? No, I you know just mean, mean I wouldn't be judging. I'd be like, yeah, you got a good point. <laughs> and yelling out you all these whack yeah, yeah. Yelling out these no. whack oh, I yeah. feel like I'm in I feel like a fried chicken in the house. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't have no say on the grease that they put me in the pan with. Like, yeah. What? what? <laughs> I want to be the steering wheel. Exactly. <laughs> I want to be the steering wheel. I want to be the steering wheel. I'm a therapist and somebody yells that shit. I'm subscribing prescriptions. Like you don't need to be, you need to be seeing a psychiatrist. But, but the great, medication. Thing, great thing that I do, like I bring like props and stuff. Like I put things around and I, you oh, know, I with my analogies. You ain't tell me this, one. this is great. What is the props? <laughs> I bring all a bunch of stuff. Like, like I use what? anything. I just, you know, I have probably have like little cars there. I probably have like food and try to do like half of the plate is supposed to be for us. And if I eat most of the food, I'm eventually start eating most of yours because I'm gonna still be hungry. You bought food to the therapist's office? What you supposed to do? To well, it, the people don't the people don't understand unless you like bring props and bring a knowledge. With little toy cars? So you're trying to tell a story with the food? With the props and stuff. People don't understand. They act like they like not paying attention. And like how many happy meals did you buy that come with the toys and No, I got food? kids. Oh, so you just bring the okay. Yeah, I got kids and I got food. It's that easy. Yeah, I don't think that's how therapy works. I don't think yeah, you're supposed I'm to bring so the props. In, it's, it's, I don't think that's how that works. This is not bro. a conjugal visit. <laughs> <laughs> just go and talk. Yeah, like, I'm trying to tell you. I'm bringing condoms and shit. Like, Why? Right, we got one hour. <laughs> Why? <Bro. laughs> Why? What did the therapist oh, say about your props? No, she she like loved the way I break things down because at the end of the day she's getting paid for every minute. So nah, keep the nah, fucking props. Nah. She's just trying to keep things kosher. She's trying to stay safe. She's like 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 no sudden move. She probably telling herself, <laughs> I don't want to say anything that could trigger this guy. Nah, right. Nah, it's, it's good the way I do the analogies and the props and stuff like that. You know when like uh, Mr. So you're Don trying Fire. to explain yourself. Yeah, I'm explaining myself, but just bringing more things in. So it's like like I do it for dummies, for kids. I want to do it for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I just want to go hit a wide range of people when I do it. What's the last thing you explained to your therapist? Um, again, like I told you, I don't think everything women say is stupid. You don't you think, think everything women say is stupid? Say that again? Please. Not everything. You said that everything. Hey, hey, hey. I, not everything. I can't say that. Yo. I, I, wait, say that again. Yo. Because I was getting judged and I was like, Yo. that's not smart. That can't be like that. Why y'all think like that and stuff like that? And then I came to the conclusion like, you know what? You know what? Everything y'all don't say is stupid. You know what I'm saying? It was like certain things we just disagree with. <laughs> Men and women got two different outlooks on certain man, things, so it's not dumb. Imagine going so to the you, therapist because you're you've been a man going through life thinking women that women. Are, <laughs> no, no, what we can say is stupid. That. I don't think it, I wouldn't say stupid. I was just like, why what would you think hell? that? <laughs> you just said that though. I, I, so your whole word. life you thought everything women said was stupid. I wouldn't no. say stupid. I would say like, why would you say that? Including your mom? No, it's not like that. Let me say, I said it all fucked up. I was just saying that because I was like, that's dumb, that's dumb, that's cars, bro. Yeah, get the food. Get the food. Get the food. Because we don't get it. Listen, my thing is, is like, women and men always argue and all that type of stuff. So it was like, I, that's not stupid what she's saying. I understand that she got a point because that's the way she was brought up. That's the way she moved. Her perspective. Yes, that's it. Before I was just like, that's fucking stupid. But now is I'm learning that commun communication, knowing that that's the reason why this, she came like that because of how she was brought up or whatever. But that's all maybe of us. Maybe it's though. not stupid. That's so, all of us. All of us are the product of our environments. I get it, but I I relate more to men, I guess, because we went through the same things more than women. So when I instead of being stupid, that's just her. Okay, <laughs> Tammy, have you ever dated a guy? <laughs> have you ever dated a guy, Tammy, who every time you talked, you, you thought he thought you were stupid? No. Okay. No, I'm. This is different. This is new. Okay. I just think he doesn't understand that women are more guided by emotion. Yeah, and y'all are more guided by. No, I don't believe that. I you think, don't think women are more guided by emotion? Hell sure. no. Men are so goddamn emotional. No, you're you're just more vocal about your emotion. We're not allowed to be emotional, so yes. it just bothers yes. us. You're not allowed. No. No. Why do you and say that's allowed? What makes men the more emotional. Cause we don't know how to express. I was, I, I was. Uh, and then we explode. I'm well, yes. who doesn't allow you to be emotional? <laughs> you, the world, how? society. You, a girl call you a bitch in two shit. seconds. <laughs> yeah, why are you always emotional? Why are you being bitch all vulnerable? Bitch ass, ass nigga. <laughs> fuck nigga. Yeah, I don't, boy. Like yeah. fuck with a girl. I think that, I'm talking to one of my girls right now. That ain't even like, your baby. Yeah. Ooh. yeah you, okay. Say, yeah. All right. Touche. Touche. Ouch. Yeah. That's the reason. That's why we can't say nothing. Toughen up, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're right. You're right. Thank you. That okay, shit, sister. That shit felt like a setup. Okay, you miss. Just say, you're right. I'm not used to women saying you're right. 
she goes, you're right, you're out. So, like, where so, are you going okay, with this, yo? You go. <laughs> see, now you see what I mean? That's no, not stupid it. for what them, they do that. No, no, I, the word stupid is never going to get you anywhere. No, right. no, 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 I don't think, yeah. I, that's why I don't want to say stupid. Andrew, please tell him again. The words, calling anybody stupid is never going to get you. No, no, And don't put this behind it either. If you say you stupid, that's like, I think I'm smarter than that person. I don't think I'm smarter than you. Stupid and dumb is the same thing. Right, no, it's, it's not. Same. What's the difference? Stupid and dumb? Stupid mean you smart. Like, I think I'm smarter than you. Dumb, and dumb is just like, like you just, just dumb like motherfucker. Me. It's the same thing. It is the same no. thing. I understand how he uses it differently. Yeah, dumb, dumb is just not smart. <laughs> no, no, no. Like if I call <laughs> if I call someone dumb, they can be dumb momentarily. Gotcha. But gotcha, if gotcha. I call them stupid, Stu- they're stupid. You are stupid. You are stupid. Like, I'm, I'm not even I'm smarter than you. They're the same thing. I could I think they're interchangeable. Yo, yeah. No way, dumb, bro. That guy's dumb. You but know why? Again, you, you know, know why I think dumb, dumb is worse? For a couple of seconds. I think dumb is worse because you can call somebody a dummy. You don't call nobody stupid. No, you can be yeah, stupid. Dummy all the time. is a person. I'm gonna add nah. another wrinkle that makes things. Even no, that's some dumbass shit you just did. That's some dumbass shit. But, but still. that's some stupid ass shit. You I'm just only gonna did. call you a dumb bitch. If I'm with you, I call you a dumb bitch. Wax, that's wax, like wax. Black get over that. Call you stupid if you're funny. That's some stupid but shit. But don't say that dumb dude is yeah, stupid. Oh, you're stupid, yeah, you're right. bro. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. No, don't say right. dumb dude. Right. Right. You're so dumb. Yeah, dumb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why you say that dumb ass shit? Get no, out of here. That is, yeah. I, I say that. I say, I say, Andrew's so goddamn stupid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so imagine me at therapy saying that. That's all I'm saying. So if y'all can say it, why the fuck can't I say it? Yeah, but that's different, though. But the context is different. I don't mean, I am not, I'm not saying Andrew's stupid. They're not trying to be funny. They right. try to be serious and you'd be like, hey, y'all stupid. Like, that's stupid. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's like, no, because you can thing. be smart and stupid. Comedians Yo. are the most smartest, stupidest people alive. Right. But that's yeah. what I mean. They, say, they say smart shit that's Dumb. super funny, but you're like, woman. Why, why the fuck would he say that stupid shit, shit. right now? So you think women right. are like that? Women is just like that. And they know they get away with it. See, comedians know they're going to get away with it because of the joke. Women know they're going to get away with it because of their woman. Mm. So they get to say all that type of shit that we cannot say no, at all. That's not true. That's not true. You get out of here. This is what I tell Wax all the time. Wax will get upset because he can't, you know, get his way with a woman, a certain can't. woman. And I'm like, well, maybe if you stop calling her a dumb bitch. Ooh. No, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't. I wouldn't cooperate no. with you. Wax, if you me a is dumb that what bitch. you're doing? You is going that to what you Charlotte? Do? What is wrong with you today? You, you so is that crazy. what you're doing? Yo, this guy is so crazy. Why? I lied. Why? I lied. You got another alley oop then. If it's not the last one. I lied. I'm this not going to go too deep in it. This, this is, is a serious situation. But I, You're not I out here calling women dumb no, bitches. No, no. And listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you deserve to get called a dumb bitch, if I think that's what you are, especially at that time, you might get called that. No. But I don't walk in a room and call nobody a dumb bitch. No. no. If I needed to call no. you that. I, I'm so, around a lot of women. No. And if I called you that, that call probably- Call a therapist be, right now. We need more therapy sessions. So you think we that I go around just calling people dumb bitches? <laughs> Is that, but that's, but no, that's what you make no, people no, no, think, no, no, no. Okay, let me, let me rephrase. Thank you. Not you all women. One in particular. All right, but if I think you did some wild shit to me, when I say fuck you, you're not a woman to me no more. You're a person. But if you're so trying dumb to bitch, get this person. It could be a man and woman. But if yeah. you're trying to get this person to get on the same page with you, dumb bitch ain't going to ever work. No. Nah, no. Dumb, dumb bitch is not very effective. Uh, no. Oftentimes, it's, it's, it's not. When I'm like, let's say me and my girl are like arguing over something. You ever have, you ever have it happen where like, it becomes less about the thing you're arguing, more about winning or scoring yep. points. Yep, that's what I. That's Who could argue over this? I can make you feel worse. We're shit. not even upset about that little nah, shit. We left that a long, long time yeah, ago. Yeah, now we're just trying to see who wins. Like that shit is stupid to win. I and and then maybe taking some like time away from it so you guys can come back like objectively to it. But to what you earlier said, like I think if if your girl or anybody's girl does something wrong to you. I don't think it's okay to just be like, okay, you're right, just to avoid the fight. Yeah, I but think don't call him a dumb bitch. No, no, can't say dumb no. bitch. Alex, pull up uh, Never Win Sometimes Through Argument, that is okay, 48 Laws though. of Power. What you mean? They just let them be right. Sometimes. No. Not if they do something if that, you want is, them to grow, that you, you don't. don't like or you find like rude or disrespectful because now you're allowing them to treat you in a way that doesn't make you happy. And okay, women shouldn't let us get away with that either. Like, sometimes I'm not even trying to do something that bothers my girl, but if, it, if, it, if that behavior bothers her, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I could be like, yo, I'm sorry I bothered you. That wasn't my intent. But like, I'm going to keep that in mind so that I don't have a relationship with you. It's constantly contentious. Yes. I'm not even trying. Law number yeah. nine in the 48 Laws of Power. Went through your actions, never through argument. Any momentary triumph you think you have gained through argument 
is really a pirate victory. The resentment and ill will you stir up yep. is stronger and lasts longer than any that's momentary change lose. of opinion. So that's why what you say is wrong. But let's just discuss our, we can discuss our differences. We don't have to argue. I'm not trying to win. Yada, yada, yada. You tell me what's the problem. I tell you what's my problem. Let's try to meet in the middle on a solution. I'll, I agree with you. I think that's a good thing. I think it's harder, uh, easier said than done. done right. Like For sure. I, all right, at least Talking for me is this, like, I, I don't have a, it's easy for me to apologize if I fucked up. Sure. Like, I'm not one of these people who who can't apologize. Word I think my, my pops put that shit into me dumb early, like, apologizing is, is, like, the Smart. right thing to do, et cetera. Yes. So, like, very if I fucked up, in the Respectful. moment it might take a second, but afterwards, I'll, I'll be like, yo, my bad. I, very I, wise yes. thing to do. I, I could do it. So, I think that's one of those things where, like, I also expect that of you, because I know it might not be that day, but... A few hours later, the next day, I'm going to be like, I fucking regret that. My bad. And I am sorry. Right so I also want that from you. You're I can't absolutely be- right. Andrew, you're girls don't have to do that. No, yes, they do. do. That's they do. not true. They don't have to do that. One more take things from the grave. If I come to you man to man, take you cannot lie to me. But if a woman come to you, you you have to lie. Your boy, girl, if your uh, girl, um, your boy, girl come to you, right? Yeah. And he's like, was you with him? You can actually lie to her. But if a guy come to you like, you fucking my girl and you lie to him. That's you, 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 come on. So wait, you can lie to a woman, but you can't lie to I'm a man. I'm just saying, Bob. If just we just all did, I don't know what the fuck we was doing that for. We just used to do it. Do what? Who, just lie it, to women. Oh, y'all the only person that tell on me. But I'm just what saying, like, what's I'm, going on? I'm just saying, throughout, throughout my whole life, I didn't understand. Saying? Shit, wax that just knocked up because y'all the only person that tell them. I don't even know what the fuck you talking about. I'm lost. You know, if your boy come to you and your, your Yo, boy he's be in like, survival mode. Every time listen. you look at him, listen, <laughs> you turn your head like this, I can hear his voice just start speed up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what did I, listen, you never come up from one of your boys. Your boy be like, Yo, I'm going out with this girl, and my girl call you, whatever the case. You know, that happened to you before. That's what I'm saying. Huh? So you you lie for your friends is what you're I would, saying. I, I'm sure we all lie for our friends before. Which one of your friends lied to you and said that sure fit? <laughs> <laughs> this is my arm. Yo, you got your built like Pam Bam, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. If a guy come to yeah. you, no, and you say, don't you know what he's saying. Girl, Why do you keep listen, acting listen, like you speak? Listen, white? Listen, I do. I don't girl, understand. If a guy come to you well, and say. If your guy come to you and say, yo, you fucking my girl, he have to man up and say, he got to tell the truth. He cannot lie to another man. He can't lie. Girl, he can lie. No, 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 you know what y'all do? Where, where your boy at? I don't know. Y'all expecting you from other confused. people. Yeah, that's that's, that's what he said. Which is, which that's is, what he said which, earlier. Which Charlamagne is not a bad expectation. Like no. treat others how Especially you if want he's to right. be treated. Right? But like, you'll always be disappointed. Yep. It, that is see, that's a problem. It's like that's it's not wrong to feel that way. But if that's how you go throughout life and you're not allowing each person to be themselves and have their little idiosyncrasies and make them operate different, mm-hmm. you gonna be fucked up in every interaction. You got yeah, to understand think why everybody about to treat you that's wrong. That's what you're that's saying. That's not cool. Yeah. I don't expect me from other people. Because yeah. I've, I've been disappointed so many times in my so, life so you yeah, expect because of that. From everybody I used to, no, yeah. I don't expect nothing. I do things because I, I genuinely want to do them. And I know that at the end of the day, God's not judging me based off how other people treat me, he's judging me based off how I treat, treat people. other people. Mm-hmm. That's you know, it. Right. You know what's interesting is like, like sometimes I'll get into with my girl. It's not even an argument, but I basically tell her, don't. How do I say? It? Like we each do different things for the relationship. Don't count some shit that I do more than you. Let's say I'm paying for rent or whatever the fuck, right? Don't count that shit more than you taking care of some things for the house, designing these yeah. things, maybe booking. Like, don't count one more because I don't want us to keep score. Yeah. Do mm-hmm. Just say we both do things and as long as we're both happy with the things that we're doing, I'm okay. Because you're never going to hear me go, well, I do all this. Nah, that's what are you doing? So, I'm do you never going to evolved- against you. You realize as a man how evolved that thinking is? Why? Because, right, because most men don't think like that. That's right. A lot of us, we feel like we're the ones that's providing the money. It's our money that's paying the bill. So we look at Women taking care of kids, women taking care of the house, like that's it's way like, hard. like it's, it's nothing. That's their job. That's, yeah, that's yeah, way yeah, hard. Nothing. Yes. I don't look at it like it's nothing. <laughs> I look at it like we all have responsibilities. That's right. And as long as that responsibility isn't making you feel uncomfortable, like if I felt wild uncomfortable taking care of like the the home and the bills, if I felt fit like uncomfortable about it, mm-hmm. 
I would have to have a conversation with her and be like, hey, I'd like you to contribute more. Yeah. Just like if she felt uncomfortable taking care of some of the stuff from the house, she would have to be like, hey, I need you to help out with the dog or I need you to help. Yeah, and she has. Sure. She'd yeah. be like, yo, I need you to help out. You know, I even, matter of fact, when we were moving to a new place and we were looking at new places, like we were looking at places that, you know, were a decent amount of money. And I had to say, I was like, I need to know if you like this enough to contribute. Like, would you value this place so much that you would take some money out? And when she was like, yeah, I would. I was like, you don't have to, but I needed to know no, respect. that you cared that much. Yeah. You know well, what that's I mean? Healthy. Yeah. Then now, now I feel comfortable. Now I got your back. That's all she's telling you. But yeah, I think, I don't know. I think that that's how you guys have always been. We've always spoken about that on a podcast. Like, you oh, never absolutely. press your girl about no. you being a no. breadwinner or some no, shit no, like that. But men do that a lot. A lot. That's corny, that's, though. That's whack. That's, that's corny. Whack. As long as the woman's not just sitting on her ass doing fucking nothing, yeah, nothing. then doing I'm doing TikTok feel... videos all day. No. Yeah. I actually have Posting to TikTok videos. I, I, I actually have to get better at what you talked about because I have to uh like I think that what women do is harder. Yes. Me too. Ah, so you don't think you're contributing enough. No, I I think I'm contributing, but I just think what women do is harder. I think taking care of the kids, holding down the house, being why I think that's Way harder. It's way more of a responsibility than what I do. But maybe I need to get on that level where it's just like equal. Yeah, I, I, I want to say I want to say harder. Foot, equal footing, but also like of equal importance to self. Like if that if doing if contributing that way makes you happy, uh -huh. who am I to say that you're not doing enough? If I'm comfortable with your contribution yeah, yeah, and yeah. you're happy doing it, yeah. We've reached a good place. Yeah, we good. That's it. And if there's yeah. some shit neither of us want to do, then we hire a motherfucker to That's do that. It. Yeah, men ain't going to Well, you never... sound like somebody with money. Not every relationship is like that. 100%. 100%. Hire 100%. Do shit, 100%. You know? We're, well, I'm in a very fortunate situation. Yeah. But if you're not, you guys got to find the balance between it. And that's it. just what it is. Or you got to find someone that fills part. those gaps. That's yeah. the hard you gotta find part. Some, you got to find somebody that, you got to find somebody that love to do what you hate to do. Boom. That's, that's it. it. Like, that's it. And I don't like the way that sounds. No, nah, but it's not. Nah, I mean, that's that's it, it, it helps so is going much, away. You, you need a point guard. You need a you need a you need somebody with rebounds. Yeah, you don't need two people doing rebounds. That's, that could be watching the kids, man. What you mean? That sounds crazy to say. I hate I hate being with my kids. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Come on, different than, this guy that's my anything. kids though. No, no, no. Nah, watching nah. them is different than being with them. Like yeah. the other day, I was in the pool. No, I can't do it either. And I had my two youngest in the pool with me. <laughs> yeah. And my wife was like, "I'm going upstairs." And I'm like, like "Yo, are you going?" What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes it's like, man, fuck them kids. Though. Like, no, no, it ain't never no, like that. No, but it's just no, like it the is, responsibility. Man, it is. Of no. Yeah. Too much Ebony K. Williams. Don't listen to that. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it, it's never fuck the kids. Like yesterday, I sometimes she went to is. sleep early, and I had the kids, and I'm like, the baby is cool. King is good. But the baby, I can't do nothing with the baby. When do I baby. turn this off? <laughs> like, that's the truth, though. What do I do? Like, if he's hungry, I can't feed him. I don't have a breast. I don't. Like if we get a certain age, oh, that's cool. We all day. You you, you want to look for your kids now? Yeah, yeah. But now with the little baby, I cannot do this. I go to nah, work for bro. two weeks you straight. You can do it. You can <laughs> before I do yeah, this bro. for two hours. And if we, at the, I'm at the. See, we, that's not fair though. How's it not she fair? needs a break. She needs no, she you to help in that she way. Does. People she does. come. She got. No, I called the nanny because I was tired the other day. Mm -hmm. I listen. A lot please. of there's a lot of rich no people way. problems. I can't way. do it. Yeah, this is rich. This is, I want y'all to know this is a lot of rich people problems because some people right. don't have. I these, call the it, nanny. Yeah, like what, sometimes she needs you to what do what it. What we're describing right now though is why like marriage between culture within the same culture often works is because there's established roles for the male and female in the relationship. And those roles mm -hmm. fit together like a puzzle piece. Now, I know it's antiquated mm -hmm. to say something like, a woman has to do this and a man has to do that, right? right. Yes. Like, my pops worked for my mom's business, right? So it's like, I didn't grow up in that specific household. But but it is why it works. Like, you guys enter a relationship. If you have, like, a religious or cultural background, it's like, hey, this is what we expect a woman to do in a household. Yes. And this is what we expect a man to do in a household. I don't they mind don't know do their roles. Oh, it's amazing. But that's changing yeah. so it's much amazing. now. Yeah, yeah. Why is it changing? That, but, no, but here's the thing. It's changing. Because why? women are It's not changing, here. but it's, uh, it it's evolving. It's evolving. You need, you need, you need, yeah, it's evolving. But you need that with structure, that evolution, though. there's some problems. Keep the base. Because now you got two people going into a relationship with expectations from the other person ain't going to meet up. The dude's going to go, you know what? I don't want to be the breadwinner. I want to I want to stay home kicking with the kids. And the girl's like, you know what? I want to do that, too. Yeah. So how are we going to figure this shit out? Two point guards. Or you can't I'm going to make the money and then I need you to cook. And he's like, no, you stay, you cook. Yep. You go to work and come home and cook. Yep. And you're at home. No, you cook, motherfucker. You know what's wild? <laughs> <laughs> when we were, and this, this, is, this is some more, have, some talk that's a little bit, too, but we was in Kabul 
and um my wife had went to go like do some like souvenir shopping so i was at the at the place with the kids right yeah. and so uh the homie texted me right and and it was uh, text me right and she was like hey you know you know where you at want you come down to the whatever and i'm like oh i said I, I, when my wife gets back because I'm, I'm watching the kids right now and she texted me back and she was like wow she was like men watching the kids she was like times sure have changed i'm so happy to hear that and i'm like wow wait Wife, relax. My life is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> relax, young king. Relax, young king. I mean, Son, I, I, you're Illuminati, bro. You I mean, a, a, lot, a lot of fathers right. watch the kids because a lot of do a lot of people I don't not even together. know what that is. Let me you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I think you threw up white power. That could have been a blood. That could have been, <laughs> yeah. been a brown boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was brown boy. <laughs> think you mean this? Doug. Men in black. <laughs> now a lot a lot That's of fathers watch YouTube. kids though. <laughs> a lot of fathers watch kids now. I'm the, huh? I, I mean, a lot of fathers watch kids because they're not with their parents. You know? I mean, they, yeah. They're not together all the time. So a lot of the fathers do watch kids. Yeah. Well, watching kids sound crazy. I don't even like, yeah, I don't like the term yeah. watching your kids. They're your kids. Crazy. They're your That's kids. your kids. Nah, That's your spending kids. Spending time with your family right. is what we call it. Spending yeah. time yeah. with your family. Yeah. I mean, look, like I said, when they <laughs> wham, wham, like, that's really that's for the, the mom. That's the thing I don't no, like. Yeah. That sounds wild too, though. <laughs> spending time with your family? Why, what else would you be doing? She's Working. Working. Why, oh, how about, yeah, how about okay, being okay. home? Yeah, you're right. We're we don't. Home. We're not home. Like, men, when were men home, bro? Like, you work yeah. 12 hours a day. You go fucking hunt for two weeks straight. Like, there's yeah. no home. You go to war. Like, with this recent history, we really got to just home all the time. But it's the same for women too. Now, though. now women working. always used to be home. Yeah, but now we're working. And now we're you're pissed. Home. Yeah, we are. We are pissed. I'm mad. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. You want a guy to take out. care of you. You want that. You want the I structure? Would, Nothing wrong with the structure. I promise you. That's what you want. I don't want anybody to take care of me per se, but I would. Yeah, you're right. You. I do. Yeah, man. <laughs> Come on, I'm man. I'm tired Stop of it. this shit. I'm not yeah. a feminist. Yeah, Take care of me. Got time for that shit, man. Isn't it lit to be taken care of? Isn't it kind of dope? I don't know. But wouldn't you to have like a partner? to entertain it? <laughs> to have a partner. You, you do realize we like being taken care of too. Oh, yeah. yeah. What does that mean? Does that mean financially? Oh, like, or... I think Ebony K. Williams broke it down the best I've ever heard when she said, I will be the curator of the house. No, I will amazing. be the caretaker of the house. Yes. I make sure you got home cooked meals, hot food. She said, I will clothes take care washed. of the kids. Uh -huh. I'll take care of your kids, meaning even if you got some other kids, amazing. I have your clothes washed. She was like, but I don't want to pay no bills. Right, I'm I don't want to have to work. That sounds good to me. That I'm shit with it. Was amazing. But, but, that, but I that's have what we said. Every time you know your you're doing all of that. And I know I'm the point guard and I know I got to throw the alley to you. Why the fuck if I'm I'm the I'm the guy who's supposed to get the uh, rebounds and I'm always throwing alley to the point guard? That's not cool. I don't know. Know that your that roles. Analogy. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. That's, how, that's what his therapist says the same shit all the time. <laughs> Andrew, you don't understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're Thank you. Can you break no. it down in a way that I can If understand. you're a point guard, you need to throw an alley-oop to a guy who can dunk the ball. Thank you. Yeah. So if you got another point guard, y'all just going to be throwing alley-oops to each other. Nobody's going to dunk. But point guards can dunk too. We understand that, but they usually don't be the dunk. With the metaphor, you know who, you like you don't want to see is. Chris Paul dunk, right? You want to see... what's was, was Giannis. Yeah, you want Gian, you want Giannis to dunk the ball. You want Chris yeah. Paul to throw it to him. But you but expect you Giannis to... to dunk, though, right? That's, That's what, what I'm we're saying. saying. Expectation. So you expect the woman? Okay, I get what you're saying. Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. It's all good. All you gotta do is be a little yeah. dumb. Yeah, just be a little dumb. You're sometimes. overthinking it, bro. Yeah, you're just on, overthinking. So be a little smart. dumb sometimes, Doc. <laughs> so you want to pass the ball to your girl so she can dunk it? Is what you're saying? Or if, you want if, her to pass you the ball? If so I'm if I'm if I'm John, is I'm supposed to be the one dunking the basketball, doing all the dirty work and stuff like that, being down, being down there and doing what I gotta do with the, um, downstairs. Yo, she's supposed to be up there dribbling the ball and make sure everything good. Yeah, I actually think the you're saying the woman is the point guard, right? Woman's the point guard okay, at all times. She's the I head. You know what I'm saying? She makes sure everything that. is good. We make sure we do all the dirty work. We go to work. We make sure that the lane is clear for her to come in and drive and score points. Not for all us. the dirty work. No, nah, I mean, we, we no do diapers. most of the dirty work, bro. You ain't changing no diapers. But no, that's no, no, traditional but, gender roles. But and we got to make that. That's, no, that's her like scoring that. points, though. Her her changing, her cooking, be able to cook. This we what do happened. all the dirty work so she get the money for the food. Our and the jobs pampers. got too easy. Now, I'm not saying what we do is easy, but it looks easy. Like, yeah, if I ever yeah, post yeah. on my story of what's happening at the studio, my girl thinks I'll never get any work done ever. She's yeah, like, you're just fucking around. You're shooting basketball. Shooting basketball, playing fucking boxing with wax. T yeah, yeah, box yeah, with that, yeah, yeah, and yeah, Alex, yeah. like we don't, we just play games for a little. Uh, I'm right? with Charlotte all day. Exactly. Yeah, you. That's all you did. You just hung out with Charlotte all day, about. like you did nothing, right? Yeah. So, I think what happens is like when that's the perspective, it's easy to think what you do as a woman is much harder. Back in the day, when you were working in a fucking coal mine, you think the wife ever complained about what you did at work? 
You know what I'm saying? Yes. yes. No. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure, bro. bro. Hell no. Nah. This shit ain't just start happening. No. Nope. Absolutely. It just, feminism just popped up after coal mines. No, no. bro. They no. closed no. the coal mines no. and then no. feminists sure. started talking yeah. that shit. No, why? Because no. somebody had a bigger house than her. No. So she got pissed off. And I it, promise I, you, bro. It, it, it's, it's, war. But she also no. wasn't at work at all, you know? Who was? The woman whose husband was in the coal mine. She was always at home. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah these and, women are working every day. They have to do everything that you're doing and still come home and take care of kids. But why do you think work, that? Do you cook, think that these people came home from the coal mines and the wife didn't bless, bless you? you bless the wife you. didn't say, you. take that shit off before you come in the house. Oh, yeah, she she you always come in here dirty every day. And the man's sitting there thinking, we're going to fucking coal mine. Chan, let me ask fucking you something. Do you, do you think that women try to go ahead and get all this money because they don't trust that the guy is going to provide and protect or beat it with them forever? You think she like, Absolutely. Absolutely. I, that's what we I think it is, too. We have to have our too. security, you know? Like, if, especially if you, as if black you, women, if you solely where let the a lot guy of times we held? come from families where our moms were single parents, a lot of us. Mm -hmm. So we feel like so we have trauma. to provide for ourselves, you know? Even when we have a man, we still have this little safety net. Like, So, so whenever you just, just like, let case. go as a woman, you're so. basically saying, I'm giving all to you. I think we're going to be together forever. We're going to make this work. It's hard to do that. It's hard to say, I trust you wholly. But to why me. would you say Tammy I Tammy brought up a good you. point that you're missing, bro. Talk to me. The fact that you probably saw that happen with your mom and her trauma. relationship. So being that you're traumatized, you are just expecting this guy might not be around anyway. He might walk out. Let me go get mine. Did. Let me go mm -hmm. get mine. That's a great. But then you look at certain cultures where like the dudes stay 100%. They don't leave. And uh, the women got no fear that they're going to leave. You know, like uh, Latin women. Which Latin women? <laughs> Which Latin? <laughs> like Puerto Rican, bro. Yeah? Yeah. No, sir. mine is good. Yo, what, what else is Puerto Rican? Are they, are they Latin? What else? Oh, my God. Uh, Caribbean? What else? I heard say something else. Ask your fiance. I know, but no. That's, Spanish? You got so many. Okay, Spanish. Obviously Spanish from Spain. Uh, I never heard of the, what you said before, though. African? Uh, Native American? Indio? Yes, yeah, it's, it's the whole day. The, uh, I'm about to say goddamn diaspora. You don't even diaspora. know. <laughs> don't even diaspora. Know. diaspora. <laughs> <laughs> it's the whole diaspora. They're children of the diaspora. <laughs> okay, so what do we think about the baby, though? Let's pay some bills and come back and talk oh, about let's the baby. Get it. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I need to help y'all get some delicious meals delivered fresh, 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 fresh to your crib. Now, we're all trying to get in shape and eat right, and Freshly can help, okay? Their delicious meals are designed by nutritionists. I messed up that word, but you knew what I meant, nutritionists. And they're cooked by chefs, making it easier to eat better. Grocery shopping and cooking can be a pain in the ass, especially right now. And with Freshly, you don't have to. Your meals arrive cooked and fresh every week, so you can keep your fridge stocked and skip the trip to the store. Ordering is easy. Visit Freshly.com and choose from over 30 delicious, satisfying, better-for-you meals like steak, peppercorn, sausage, baked penne, or... Their chicken pesto bowl freshly can fit your lifestyle with a variety of plans and meals to pick from that work for your dietary needs, preferences, tastes, and family size. And now our listeners can try freshly for just $6.16 per meal. Think about that. $6.16 per meal is a bargain, way less than you'll have any other food delivered to your house. And this is just as fresh, but more nutritious. I just said that right. Okay, good. <laughs> Stop searching, okay? Stop searching the internet for healthy food near me every night and start living life freshly. Your meals are always delivered fresh, never frozen, and are ready to heat and enjoy in just three minutes. With new meals added each week, Freshly brings the convenience of chef-made nutritionist designed classics right to your kitchen. Right now, Freshly is offering our listeners $40 off your first two orders when you go to Freshly.com slash idiots. That's Freshly.com slash idiots. So stop stressing about dinner. Go to Freshly.com slash idiots for $40 off your first two orders. That's Freshly.com slash idiots for $40 off your first two orders. Now, oh, very important. Are you carrying credit card balance month after month? I mean, you're not the only one. I can guarantee you that. High interest rates make it hard to pay off your debt but Upstart can help. Join the thousands of happy bars who made that final payment. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. 
Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have, been, have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment, okay? Unlike other lenders, Upstart looks at more than just your credit score, like your income and employment history. This means they can offer smarter rates with trusted partners. With a five-minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans between $1,000 and $50,000. That's amazing. You can receive funds as fast as one business day away after accepting your loan, okay? Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash idiots. That's upstart.com slash idiots. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. One loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and other certain information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash idiots. And now let's get back to the show. All right. Uh, Schultz, you got some uh, church announcements? Yes. The infamous store. Check it out. We're in Charlotte. <laughs> Uh, in a couple of weeks. Oh, you should go. Oh, I will yeah, go. You live in yeah. Charlotte? Yes, I I'll do. Get your tickets. Okay, Whatever you great. want to come out, bring out. Bring a nice white boy. Okay. Have I'll a nice, you. have a nice date. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, Charlotte, come out. Uh, Dallas, Houston. Uh, we added some shows. Another one in San Francisco. Added another one in Chicago. Oh. Uh, added another one in Austin for the special taping. That's dope. Um, Philly, just go to the andrewschultz.com. You get the full list of shows. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for selling out all these shows. And it's pretty incredible. I'm excited to perform in these venues. It's going to be wild. So we're going to do some things to, to fill the space. It's going to be very special. Has it? Big yeah. tall money. Wax, you got any church in <laughs> yes, Sir, uh, go get that Who's Wax and Dispensaries in LA. I got my gummies that's out. I gave Charlotte some. I know you're going to really like these. It's like the Delta Ace. They could go into stores. So I'll be in stores out here. As soon as How many milligrams are there? 20 milligrams. So, you know, Shit. Eat, half yeah, eat half of that. You know what I'm saying? Because I had somebody eat one yesterday and it was gone for 12 hours. They was gone. So, yeah, I got the Who's Wax gummies yeah. out here. And also, no, I got the no. paintball fight and I want to do the paintball wars, the uh, podcast wars. So, y'all get your teams up. Y'all get your teams ready. And let's make it happen. It's really okay, dope. Okay. And we also got the Bully and the Beast. I want y'all to listen to us every Wednesday and get that Patreon so you get it on, get it on Mondays. Tam Bam, you got any church announcements? Yes. Um, you know, listen to us. We talk back. It's on Black Effect Network. Hey. Yeah, just tune in to us every Thursday. You can find us on Apple. You can find us on Black Effect and anywhere you get your podcast. There you go. We talk back at, We talk back podcast with Tam Bam and AJ. And uh, make sure you go to blackeffect.com. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Anita Kopak's Shallow Waters will be out August 3rd. I don't know why I have a, I don't have the copy of the book with me, but it'll be out this Tuesday, August the third, it's a young adult uh, fiction book. It's a young adult fiction book about the African deity of the sea, Yimiya. And it'll be out um, this Tuesday on Mermaid. Black... Mermaid. Oh, that Mermaid. sounds good. It'll be out this Tuesday on Black Privilege Publishing, um, Atria, Simon, and Schuster. Everywhere you buy books. But you can pre-order. If you're listening to this on a Thursday, you can pre-order the book now. Um, you can pre-order the book now, or you could just wait until Tuesday when it comes out on August 3rd. All right? Now let's get back to the show. Now we had um, Adam Masseri. You know who Adam Masseri is? John, I wanted to talk to you about that. Let's discuss. So you guys had the CEO of Instagram, yes. Adam Masseri. Yes, I met him a couple of years ago, actually. And and I love how you guys asked him about Boosie and getting his Instagram back. And Boosie I, ain't never getting his Instagram back after what he said about Lil Nas X today. Why? What did he say? What did he say? He said he 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 wants to he'll beat Lil Nas X ass for what? For dancing in front of men. <laughs> exactly. Is that, Why should that matter if those men want him to dance? That's my yeah. yeah. I, people just need to mind their business. But go ahead. Well, it's, there, there's no male strip clubs out here, right? Yeah, there are Chip and Dale. Mm -hmm. Then why he not mad at them? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Like there's a lot of other people that Boosie could be mad at. Yes, it's right. silly. It's, I don't it's, know. It's, it's, you know what's so genius about what Lil Nas X is doing is that uh, outrage marketing is the most effective type of marketing, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's how you get eyeballs quickest to anything because it's something people are passionate about and if people are passionate about something they're going to talk about it mm -hmm. but i don't think he's sparking i don't think he's trying to spark out oh, no 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 not necessarily uh, maybe i give a little pushback there but that being said what's genius about what he's doing is that like he doesn't have to fake the thing that people are outraged by all these like political pundits that like lean into these positions they may or may not really believe but they know that it could lead to like dollars but that's why they don't rip right but lil nas x the beauty of it is that the thing that people are outraged by 
he actually really loves and is passionate about. But that's my point. He's living his truth. Well, that's yeah. all about both our points. He's living his truth, right? Yeah. He's being who he is. Yeah. And it's causing people to have strong opinions about it. Yeah. That's every great everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's on what, the right side of history. That's with right. It. Whether like, you're a pundit, <laughs> sports analyst, <laughs> it comes with it. Radio personality, Delta. podcast host. If you have a strong opinion, right? Mm -hmm. People are going to agree. Some people are going to disagree. disagree. But as long as they have some type of strong emotion about you, you yeah. win. 100%, oh. man. That's it. 100%. It's just so, it's cool to see it work out like that. Like, we just seen all these, like, political hacks, like, pretend to believe certain things because they know they could give them a career. And it's nice to see someone be like, no, nah, I'm gay and I'm cool with it. And then all these people, how the fuck? And they try to, like, they try to fold it into all these other things. Yeah, they're that's like the weirdest shit. That's, that's right. the most hilarious thing where they're like, oh, it's, uh, it's, I'm religious. And how dare he talk about the devil? And it's just like, bro, you had nothing to do with when Hellboy came out. Hellboy 2 came Word out. We ain't, see, right. we ain't see you anytime. We see the devil anywhere. You like, violate every sin in the Bible. <laughs> literally. Every <laughs> single <laughs> one. You violate every single sin in the Bible. You know what you upset about, bro. Right. It's really, yo, I'm telling you, it's the weirdest thing in the world to me that people care about other people's sexuality that much. Mm -hmm. I hear heterosexual men Talk about who gay men are sleeping with more than I hear gay men talking about who they fucking. Mm. It's the strangest thing. Yeah. So I was just curious about what your thoughts were about their like policing policies. And like, I also thought it was interesting what you were saying about uh, like, should they be regulated? They definitely need FCC rules and regulations. And, and give me, well, explain what FCC is and like, give me that whole I, breakdown. I think people think that when I say FCC rules and regulations, I'm talking about censorship. No, I'm just talking about that there should be certain policies that broadcasters have to follow. Like this, mm. I can't say anything. You know what I mean? Howard Stern couldn't say anything when he was on Terrestrial Radio. Russell Limbaugh couldn't say anything. You would be held liable for certain things. Mm -hmm. I get lawsuits presented to me all the time. I get cease and desist all the time. Not all the time, but I've gotten them before, is what I'm sure, saying. Sure. So I just want anybody who thinks they want to be in this broadcasting space to have to deal with the same shit that we got to deal with on radio and TV. Yeah. It's not rocket science here. I would give I give pushback about that because I love the freedom, but I think it's that not freedom, though. That's my point. <laughs> Shows none of this shit is free, and you know that. There's a cost to everything that comes out of your mouth. Show to show. There's no freedom of speech. Freedom, freedom ain't free, but uh, you're allowed to do it if you could pay the price. Or yeah, really not though. Yeah. Well, you, you're a comedian, so it's a little different. Everything supposed to be that's like right. A joke. I, I'm saying things. That I'm basically going, hey, I, I'm doing this for comedic intent. Yeah, so. you always get out. Yeah, but even I, comedians I always, get in but, trouble though. Yeah. yeah. But I hear what you're saying. It's a little different. Like Definitely It's a, a lot different. different. The a shit that different. is on the internet right now, the well, narratives that are spread. What about what about this idea? Like this is something I've been thinking about a lot. Like uh and I saw it happen in music and I'm curious to see what happens with the other social media platforms. But like um for like a 5 year period the the record companies that usually dictate and control who the superstars of music didn't have control, right? During this whole like SoundCloud era where mm -hmm. everything transitioned to like music online. And then you saw a bunch of artists pop up. They were really just promoted by the people, right? Like mm -hmm. the people really like listen to their music and and we push them to the top because they're like, yo, this is what we like indulging in. And uh, now that the record companies uh, have figured out how to manage streaming and de developing those relationships and the, the playlists are the new... Uh, function the similar way that like radio functioned back in the day you know, and and uh, they've, they've basically found a way to get control again and they can like blacklist artists if they want. They can basically remove artists from the playlist and that's where the streaming money comes from and that's where it dictates you know, album sales and all this other kind of stuff. So they found their control, right? When it comes to like social media, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all these different things, TikTok is a perfect example. TikTok is like real strict policy. Right. On like what you can and can't say certain mm -hmm. words. And what they do is they basically have an uh, AI, right. Listen to every TikTok you post. And if they hear certain curse words, it flags it for review. And they could just take the audio straight off or whatever. But they took me down because I was burning Polly Santo on TikTok. It was probably bullying or some shit. No, like they that. thought it was a sick. They thought it was a joint. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> None of my who's actually going up. Yeah. I, I did five. I was doing five positive tips yeah. as I'm burning the Polly Santos. Yeah. And they took it down. They and you know what? Down. I guarantee that's an AI that just recognizes what it looks like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? No different than like mm -hmm. uh, a, a camera can recognize your car running a red light or something like that. So they just see it looks kind of enough like weed. Okay, yeah. let's take the video down. So my concern with 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 TikTok, right, is it, TikTok right now is the fastest place to grow your audience because the algorithm is so robust. Like if a video really works on TikTok, that shit can do millions of views. You notice yeah. that where yeah. your shit video goes viral every few, few weeks. weeks is unbelievable, Literally. right? Unbelievable. So. If a creator wants to get attention, 
they're going to work within these rules, much like back uh-huh. in the day with TV. If we want to be funny on TV, we got to work within the rules of TV. We can't use certain Jeez. cursors. Or rules Different so, network, though. So you got cable, you got screaming, you got all... 100%. Yeah. Right. But what that means to me is these young creators are now going to be creating within the confines of the TikTok algorithm. So TikTok dictates what comedy exists on its platform and affects how comedy will exist kind of on all platforms if that's your main one right? You're going to continue to do things that are kind of like this. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the the Instagram algorithm and the Instagram policy and the YouTube policy. The more constricted those policies get, the more they curate what comedy is and then what other art forms are, what music are. Like, for example, if they just say, hey, if you curse in your music, we're not playing that shit on Spotify. Guess who all of a sudden ain't going to be cursing that that much? Yeah, but guess what? It'll be a million other places that will play. That like like, like like we're acting like these but, rules and regulations don't already exist and we haven't been living with them our whole life. But here's the thing. It, we went away from them and there was this period of freedom where we could have a crazy podcast and I could build an insane career, like not only from this podcast. Did we go away from them? No. Son, YouTube and all this freedom, everything was free for me. Like there's a reason why I could literally go from you know, doing like a comedy club with 50 people in it to doing theaters with thousands of people, right? I put my stuff out on a place that had absolute freedom and then all the comedy was happening on like fucking Comedy Central couldn't compete with what we were putting out. I I think you're putting yourself on the same level as a broadcaster though. Like Dave Chappelle's not Dan Rather. Dan Rather, uh, uh, you know, here's, here's, here's the difference with Dave Chappelle, not to cut you, but like a guy that's as big as Dave Chappelle is worth the risk for the network, Right. So like the network will go, okay, we're gonna have a bunch of trans people that are gonna be very upset about this joke that he says, but he's so prolific that it's worth any pushback. That Yeah, we- but broadcasters, news announcers are different than comedians. It's a different license, a different way to do things. Oh, yeah. if, oh. they, if Dave Chappelle gets on oh, TV definitely. and says fucking, well, nowadays it's different, but if Dave Chappelle gets on TV and tells people some misinformation about the vaccine, yep. it's like, oh, that's Dave Chappelle. So Somebody I, on CNN, MSNBC, yeah. Fox, that's important. A radio show yeah, gets yeah. on there and says it's it, trouble. That's it's an trouble. Important, that's right. an important distinction I should have made, which is like uh, we have a little bit more artistic license. And like, yes, I do. like when we had Alex Jones on our podcast, we basically put up a disclaimer and we we're like, yo, this is fun. Don't trust mm-hmm. any bit of science. Waver. Don't trust, sorry, don't trust mm-hmm. any bit of information. Like th- th- we are doing this for parody, I think it was called, right? Mm-hmm. And we're protected that's under smart. the parody laws. And YouTube basically has a law that says you're allowed to bully. I don't want to phrase like that. Basically, like there's a roast battle. That's bullying. But mm-hmm. both people are signing up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a okay. Waiver. It's not yeah. going to be looked at Peace. as like sexism yeah. or hatred or something right. like that. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm saying is, and I'm curious if your guys' thoughts about this is like, at least for comedy, because that's the thing that's nearest and dearest to my heart, is like, how much will these algorithms and what and what they say is okay and not okay to, uh, okay to say affect how the comedy of the future is portrayed. I don't think it affected at all because uh, comedians and musicians, you know, they'll always, first of all, you should just go create whatever art you want to create. That's number one. And, and it'll always be a platform for it. We're acting like it's not uncensored platforms. I'm talking about specifically FCC rules and regulations for broadcasters. Yes. So because if, the misinformation is what's ruining the society right now, not the comedians. But yeah. are we broadcasters now here? Yes, but we're not doing news. I'm a comedian. I'm not broadcasting. But we're not doing news is what I'm saying. saying. Right. Some of these people set up their shows and they talk like they're newscasters. Nah, they talk like they're reporting the news, news yeah. and they got stories about yeah. people. Slow and down. They got this gossip. Nah. And like, who? like, no. That's a good ass point. It's like, if you are operating as a news source, then you should have the same responsibility. That's all I'm saying. That news source has. But if you say, hey, this is a comedy show, and this could apply both for the Breakfast Club, this could apply for Flagger and a Brilliant Idiot. It's like, if we're saying... Well, uh, Breakfast Club's a little bit different because there's there's journalistic portions sure, of it, yeah. but there's also just comedy. I've gotten I've gotten I've gotten lawsuits for literally giving somebody donkey of the day for what they actually did. Nah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'm not like like literally for the, like yeah, the, yeah. they actually did that. But that's tricky. Like I think you should have artistic license with donkey of the day. Like I think you should be able to make jokes and it should be comedy. But at the same time, if you're interviewing a guest, I like the fact that you have the expectation of that being traditional journalism. So it's like, I, Absolutely. if I'm you, I'm I'm like, nah, this is conflicting. Don't give me one set of rules. For this, I'm doing comedy. Mm-hmm. For this, I'm being a journalist. All I know is I'm a broadcaster. Right. And so being that I'm a broadcaster, there's just consequences and repercussions to the things that come out of your mouth. All I'm basically saying is, for everybody that feels like they want to do this, 
they should have to deal with Do the it. same cost Constant. that we have right. to yeah, deal yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Because because you all of these people feel like they're on the level, right? They think it's a even playing field, like oh, we we got our YouTube show, you got your radio show, you got your pocket, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so since we're all, since you think we're on an even playing field, let's be on an even playing field. Yeah, with yeah. the FCC rules and regulations, it's easy to get your views up when you're just saying crazy shit that's not yeah, even true. The people are terrified. All that type of shit. Like if yeah. you just say every single day you start your podcast or your title of your new show, whatever it is on mm-hmm. YouTube, is like new variant of COVID is killing eight out of nine people. Bro, I saw a headline yesterday. Like, of course I'm going to click it. Yeah. Right. Bro, I saw I a headline yesterday that said uh, woman woman, woman gets legs amputated after getting a vaccine. And they got, <laughs> that happened, it just had nothing to do it with it. had nothing to do with it. <laughs> like, what the right. fuck? Right, it just yeah. happened to be after. Yes, yeah. but I clicked on it. And yeah, I was yeah, like, click me. Huh? Have to, yeah. yeah. I had to see what the yeah. fuck was going on. Yeah, but I just want everybody to have this, and that, comedians and musicians, creatives, they're different. Yes, but they if are. you're a broadcaster, totally if you're different. a person that's giving out information and news, even gossip and all that shit like that, you should have to deal with the same rules and regulations that we do. You think Wendy Williams ain't never got sued? Mm-hmm. Are you serious? That's really interesting, especially when you enter the blog, to the blogosphere, like. What expectations do we have for blogs? Did they at least like, have some man? Like even sh- the shade room, like, do they have to tell the truth? Do they not? Yes, like, you should. Even if you, listen, you, everybody's entitled to have their own opinion. You're not entitled to have your own facts. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't. You no, know, you can't don't have put your it own out facts. She knows the That's facts. True. You just can't. If there's actual facts out there, you have to report the facts. That's interesting. That's it. You can you can have your own opinion all day long, but you can't have your own facts. You and know. you can have your own opinion about my about the facts. Yeah, just, make sure just report the facts. Yeah, make sure you got the facts. But even if it's that? gossip, even if they say, "Hey, this is just gossip." Gossip. Yes. Oh, it still has to be facts. Do you think back in the day when when you used to get on the radio and call people gay, she didn't get hit with lawsuits and shit like that? Oh, yeah. Really? Because back in the day, that was considered slander and defamation. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I don't know how the laws are now, but back then, absolutely, a hundred percent. I didn't know that. You couldn't just say anything. Yeah. Chloe just who did Chloe just send a cease and desist to? Probably me. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. All I'm saying is I just want everybody it's gotta be some rules ooh, and regulations. Ooh. I'm not talking about censorship. I have a I understand what you're saying. I think that that would resonate more. It's like I think when people hear censorship, obviously we're fearful because we worry that we can't say certain things. I still want you as a journalist to say certain things on your network, but and I don't want them to be censored by the government if it goes against what the government might want. I think mm-hmm. that's a fear. But you just like, yo, if you're just basically like, hey, if we're out here calling ourselves the bearers of truth. Let's make sure that we got some truth. That's right. right. And, mm-hmm. and by the way, there's nobody that y'all love. Everybody that y'all love, oh. I guarantee you. Yeah. They were on TV and radio. I, I, so they I played they played in that FCC so shit. So they know exactly. From what the Limbaugh's to the Stearns okay. to whoever. I got a question for you on that same shit. And I thought this was really interesting. I think like Norway said that they were proposing a law. Um if you are using Photoshop to augment a person's picture to sell a product. Should you have to mention that in the ad? Yes. I agree too. Right. Because what you're doing is you're falsely portraying how the product works or how Mm -hmm. someone looks in it. Like 100%. And I think now with all these filters and that kind of stuff, especially these like models, you know, Kardashians that, hey, I look so great in my skin suit. And it's like, do you look good in your skin suit or do you look good after Photoshop makes you look good in a skin suit? Right. And it creates like an unfair expectation of what you should do. But that's kind of the same thing you're talking about just physically. That's it's like it. you're presenting something that's not real that is making people feel uncomfortable That'd in a way. That'd be fucked up if they take that away from the girls, though. Oh, it'd be, yeah, it'd be fucked up, but it'd make all of our girls feel so much better about themselves. Absolutely. You do? Mm-hmm. Why? It's fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a thing now for girls. What do you all think? Everybody loves the filter. Mm. I don't but know. They I go guess it'd away. be like a face You think it'd be filter? less pictures? Huh? If it go away, you think it'd be less pictures? No, it wouldn't be less pictures. It just finds another way. People might be unhappy, though. I know a lot of women would be unhappy. That's the other problem, too, man. I'm telling you, social media is impacting people's regular self-worth. human behavior. Life. Yes, my mother's yes. got low self-esteem, insecurity, self-worth. Watching like, other, like, people, other people's shit, though. Man, I'm telling you, they got to put a bullet in this faking. shit soon, bro. They got to what? <laughs> they got to put a bullet in this shit soon. Women are literally going to like the plastic surgeon with a filter picture yes. of themselves to say, make me look like this. Wow. That sh- I don't even think we realize the impact social media is having. You said something earlier when we first started this convo. I forgot how you worded it, but they really don't understand the power that they hold. Bro, they do yeah. understand, and that's what's scary. I don't think they do. Adam said yesterday, Adam said, yo, when we first started this stuff, 
like, you know, it was just like a, a outlet, right? But he was like, and when I asked him, should they FCC regulate? He said, yeah, because these platforms have turned into like broadcast Bro, networks. I'll be honest, it's bigger than broadcast. broadcast Easily. Bro broadcast Easily. was filtered, right? The talent mm -hmm. that would go on broadcast. Mm -hmm. I mean, you only had a few people who tell you the news every night. Yeah. At seven o'clock, you had five people who tell you the news. That's it. But on those five, five different people, channels. Those five people had to tell you the facts. They had they had to say facts. Yeah. There's a lot of or they had to at least, you know, disclaim in some way. They had to at least share the news as as they saw it mm -hmm. with the information that they had. But I think that social media, since every person is on it right now, I think you almost gotta look at it like a utility. Like water, you know, like it's a tool. It's yeah, but like I think it's gotta be I think there has to be somebody at least looking after it in the same way, like you can't just give people shitty water. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's the FCC. Right. Yeah. So so mm -hmm. it, I, I'm not one for censorship. Clean version. But I'm I, not talking about censorship. My, my I'm talking about regulate rules. Yes. It's like an N one player that can ball out in Harlem. Yep. Mm -hmm. But he get on the NBA court. It's different. It's different. Walking, but yeah. but how about this? If TikTok now they say that they're not owned by the Chinese company, it's completely separate. Sure, but if TikTok starts getting rid of any video that's critical of the way that the Chinese have, uh, you know, uh, uh, imprisoned the Uyghurs or anything like anything critical of China, what right? Did you say? The Uyghurs. Andrew said at 2.07.48. <laughs> Wait a minute, Andrew. At 2.07.48, he finally said it. We got him. Son, right? Man. So we had a, we had a, on for the special, I don't even know if anybody caught it, but there was some line uh, where we were saying like, and it's, you know, it's fucked up that China's imprisoning all the white people that want to be black in China. Oh, it's pronounced Uyghurs. I saw that. I, that. <laughs> I thought that was a good. You got one. hella backlash for that. <laughs> no, no, he's anything. The Chinese Asians were on your ass. No, but do you, do you know the word I'm trying to play? Wiggers. Yeah. White people that want to be black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't know what Uyghurs were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew what Uyghurs were. I didn't yeah. know what Uyghurs were. Uyghurs like, are, the, the are the Muslim Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't know these, that. Like, concentration yeah, yeah. camps. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so it's mm -hmm. like if a bunch of videos on TikTok are up there uh, criticizing them for that, and then all of a sudden those videos disappear, you know, like Reddit, Reddit is, I think, I think owned like 50% by like China or something like that, or they own some large stake in it. And you can't find a video about free Hong Kong, or whatever, on Reddit without it getting wiped off of any page. So like there's going to be influence on these platforms. Right. And if these platforms, imagine China could put some shit in the water that just made people uh, sterile in America. Would you let yeah, that I, happen? It's a utility now. Baby. Yeah, some of these people be lying though. Because I, I, yesterday when Adam was on, people were saying like, oh, they take down all the free Cuba stuff and all the, you know, free Haiti stuff in Palestine. I'm like, I see that on my page yeah, all oh, day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are y'all talking about? Yeah, like, yeah. I see, I mean, I see both sides represented, but I, I'm not, it's, I don't, I see it all the time. I just think my point is this shit has to be regulated. This shit is a Frankenstein monster that is out of fucking control yeah. at this point. And yeah, it's easy to say, yeah, it's great that we got creatives and comedians and this and that. Now it's it's way bigger. Who when you decides, got world leaders on Twitter tweeting. But who decides truth? That's the tricky thing. Like does know the government true. decide truth? I don't want that. I don't think the truth is hard to find. Yes, it is, bro. You, why? They get to decide what the truth is. Yeah. It is. Now we got so much video. The, the problem truth. is there's so much truth. I can find some truth that supports you. I can find some truth that supports me. But the reality is most of the truth fits in the middle. I mean, like when we were doing the Netflix special, and those turn your phone videos, we would kill ourselves finding the truth. It would take the longest part of that whole process was just finding what really happened. <laughs> what's real? Like that's because there's so much bullshit out yes, there. Yes, but the bullshit serves what people want. People want confirmation, not information. So I don't think that's truth, though. I just think that's information that's out there that confirms whatever you think. Already. Well, that's what people want. They want the information and that, that confirms. That is the problem. See, but they also want to yeah match what they said. That, exactly. Mm -hmm. that's that, the problem. that is the problem. So once they get that, it's over. We don't. I'm telling you, we have no. I, and by the way, there's no putting the toothpaste back into YouTube at this point. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Let's pay some bills, man. <laughs> Talk space. Salute to talk space. The world is racing to get back to normal and start meeting up in person again. But after the year we've had, getting back to feeling normal takes time. If you're feeling overwhelmed by it all, you're not alone. It's important to find the support you need to face those feelings and move forward. Whether you're a parent, student, millennial, or someone just having a hard day, talk space can provide the support to help you feel better with a single message. Set goals with your therapist and they can help make sure you're really progressing. Wax says he wants to go to individual therapy. I need that. Talkspace might be a good start. 
You know what I mean? Talkspace works around your schedule at your convenience. Send and receive unlimited messages with your dedicated therapist in the app. And whether you're experiencing depression, anxiety, or other problems, Talkspace is the number one online therapy platform to help you sort through any issue. Talkspace therapists are experts in dozens of specialties, anxiety, depression, relationships, and more to help you start feeling better. Start feeling better with a single message. Match with a licensed therapist when you go to Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month with the promo code IDIOTS. That's $100 off when you use code IDIOTS at Talkspace.com. Oh, we got another space, right? Our people at Squarespace, man, salute to Squarespace. They've been riding with us for a long time. Domains, websites, online stores, marketing tools, whatever you need, Squarespace. Got it. They're an the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. You'll find what you need, whether you're showcasing your work, blogging and publishing content, selling products and services, announcing upcoming events, or anything you can dream of. Buying a domain from Squarespace is easy because there are no hidden fees or price hikes and get to know your audience with the analytics tools. Those include insight on page views, traffic sources, time on site, audience geography, and more. It's all so simple too. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. All websites are optimized for mobile. Your site looks great on any device. Every Squarespace website and online store comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides that help maximize prominence among search results. These SEO tools are paramount, okay? Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code IDIOT to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash IDIOT with offer code IDIOT for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back to the... But what's next, though? What you think? After that's the Instagram? problem. Yeah. You that's think it's going to be another monster you gotta, after Instagram? I think, you know how we... Um, I don't know if it's about regulation as much as about letting people know. Like, there's a diet. You have to look at the things that you consume every day. I think my boy Ben Uyeda uh -huh. was the one who came up with this uh, theory. Brilliant guy. He built this studio for us um, with my boy Mike Montgomery as well. But um, they, he said, you got to look at it like your diet, right? Like back in the day, you just eat anything. It was like hamburgers, fries. They said everything was fine for you. Cigarettes yeah. were fine for you. They uh -huh. didn't say shit. They hamburgers. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> But like there was no nutritional facts that were put on the packaging or nothing. You just ate everything. Everything yeah. was fine. And then eventually people start realizing, oh, so if you eat certain things, you could get obese, yeah. you get cancer. You won't have These a man. Are bad. You won't have a man. Obviously, <laughs> very bad. So, so we started going, okay, I got to. I got to ease up on certain things for my diet so I yeah. can be healthy. And I think the same thing goes for information. Like, what if we get to a point, and Ben was saying that, he's like, why don't we get to a point where we could distill what is healthy information, what is unhealthy mm -hmm. information? If there's a motherfucker at a desk on their YouTube channel just spouting off bullshit, right? Maybe you you don't say he can't say that, but you can say something like, we can't confirm that these things are are real. I'm not exactly sure what the censorship would be or how it is, but I do understand the idea of a healthy diet. That's it. Yeah. Is it and that's what the FCC of information. Will, the yeah. FCC will make sure that there's a healthy diet of information that is screamed via social media. But did that, I mean, are they doing that for the channels that exist right now? Fox yes. News super biased, CNN super biased, CNN just saying fucking bullshit every single day, Fox News saying bullshit every single fucking day. None of them are truthful, and Fake these are the news. ones that are monitored by the FCC. Matter of fact, if you didn't have independent media, you didn't have guys like Rogan and shit that were actually letting people speak and like giving a platform for truth, we'd all be out here believing all the bullshit we saw on Fox News or MSNBC. I think, I think Fox, CNN, MSNBC, they all know how far they can go. Yeah. They not, they not, they not, they not gonna ever step over. And don't get me wrong, Fox gets sued quite often. By the way, CNN, MSNBC, they get sued too, as they should. Absolutely, yeah. all of them should if they're reporting some bullshit or some false information. What happened? You gotta go. No, I just want some water. Oh, uh, they, they all, they all, um, if they, if they spewing some false information, they gotta fucking go. Mm. Simple as that. Like, get fined something. I just want people to have consequences I ain't even to their goddamn them. actions for their alternative facts. You, can you can't sue social media. That's the problem. Those platforms aren't being held liable for the false information that they're spewing. I asked Adam that too. Do you think y'all should be held liable? And we're like, nah, we, we just a space for people to put this. No, shit. he didn't say no. He just said that, you know, it's, 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 it's tricky. But the same way if I, if they don't just say, they don't say Charlemagne, they sue Charlemagne, they sue Charlemagne, they sue iHeart. You know what I mean? They sue Power 105. Like there's entities that they go after. It should be the same way on social media. You allow this person to get on this platform and spew some bullshit. I'm coming after this person for slander, defamation, and libel, and malicious intent, and the platform mm -hmm. because y'all gave them the platform. Yeah, I just I disagree. The only I heard only has so many employees, and only so many employees that are actually saying things. 
Whereas Instagram has probably billions of people that are on it. You can't possibly monitor billions. That's the, well, that's their fault. <laughs> but it, that's who, that's whose fault is that? Higher more money. They making all this money. Well, they they doing something because they damn sure be t- taking down my who's wax pictures and shit like that. So somebody monitoring something. They ain't damn sure ain't just monitoring me. Right. Right. They I know. hope not. All right, let's do some asking idiots, guys. Thank you. Then get you guys tell us what you think a good idea would be, man. I, I am actually really curious to the answer. I think question. FCC rules and regulations have to happen, bro. I just really do, especially for social media, only be- and mainly because of the broadcasters, not because of the creatives, the comedians, the musicians. That's that's never mu- music is never going to be censored anyway. It's the freaking broadcasters. You want news? You want news to go through some sort of filter? where hopefully there's some truth in it. Yeah. Whereas when it comes to art, you're like, paint whatever you fucking want, right. sing about whatever you want, do comedy about whatever the fuck you want. I, I don't think that many people would disagree yeah. on that. It's just finding Respect. who the arbiters of truth are going to be is, is, is tricky. Okay, what we got? Ask an idiot. Uh, if you were forced to spend an entire day with a clone of yourself, what would you do? Man, what would you do? I go... Tell jokes back and forth with myself. That's right? it? Yeah. And smoke weed with myself. Really? Yeah. Freestyle rap with myself. Oh, can you freestyle? No. You, but you, on drugs, I think I can. <laughs> what if you was with yourself, Tammy, and you like, damn, I see why you single. <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> I'm asking. Oh, you know, I guess that would be a good way to have some awareness about who I am is yeah. to sit down with a clone of myself. Mm. That's actually a good thing. That we all should do that. Like, you can look in the mirror and have I'm about to say, why don't you just look in the mirror? Well, we, You'll be two people. Yeah, it's not the same though. It's having a conversation because they the can't phone. talk back to right, you. Right, right. If you record something, you can record um, say it <laughs> back to you. All jokes aside, how real can you be with yourself? That's the hardest thing. It's yeah. so easy for us to keep it real with other people. How real can you be with yourself? Mm. Yeah, that's true. It's like, because you know you better than you. No, yeah. you know what I do? I just Real tell man. myself, <laughs> <laughs> you do Nobody you knows know better than you. Than you. you know better else. you than anybody else does. How yeah. real can you be with yourself? You know what you do? Uh, just bring do you yourself really all the way down to the bottom, you. and then anything else would be it'd be a little bit better. Like so what? Just keep telling yourself that you're not the best and everything like that, and then everything else that do happen, anything somebody tell you, it'd be better than what you th- think about yourself. But I'm just talking about being honest about your flaws, all of them. I think you need all of them physically, emotionally, spiritually, yeah. mentally, everything that's, that's wrong hard. with you. That's I, hard. I, I don't think you should. No? Why? Something must be wrong with me. I think I you don't. should be kind to yourself. I think but you should, should be honest with yourself too. I, yeah, I think you need a certain amount of honesty, but I think you need a certain amount of delusion. And I think that you have to like find that balance. And I think the delusion is what's gonna drive you. Drive you like, to go. You gotta be delusional to think that. You should just talk into a microphone and then millions of people will just listen and be entertained. That's that a balls. delusional fucking yeah. thing. I don't think that's delusion. Because you're delusional. But no. Yeah. 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 Because you're delusional? No. That's why you don't think it's delusional. I just think it's some shit that I did. Somebody said I was good at it, so I just kept doing it. No, By I, the way, I, and I've so never had the mindset, you have to like me. No, no, no. I, I, what I'm saying is like, more for entrepreneurs, though. Yeah, if, if if you want to build that thing, right? Like, if it it, mm. it it helps, like, thinking big, dreaming big, and not really just blacking out what the criticism of that could be. Because if you want to be 100% real with yourself, you could sit down there and think of all the reasons why it wouldn't work. I do, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 100%. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I, you can't do that because once you, it's like a cancer. Once you get that negativity, negativity it is like can a just cancer, feed on it's going to feed yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, you, don't, you don't go, I don't even go that way. When I hear that, I do not even let that Absolutely. tap into me. I keep on going forward. Like, why should but I just sit there? I know I'm delusional. Look, all the companies, yeah. all the stuff I always got. Like, I'm always yeah. got something going. I'm very delusional. I always No, you're not. Because listen to what you just said. It's not like we don't hear it, right? We dismiss it. You know right. what I mean? So you can tell yourself why this wouldn't work, why that wouldn't work. It'll be other people telling you why it won't work, why it won't work. Like, whatever. I'm going to still give it a shot. Yeah, but that's what yeah. he's saying. I'm delusional to think that all these people are going to be grabbing the who's wax. I'm just going to different companies. I think companies. that's delusion. I think we're using the wrong word. Yeah. I don't okay. Know. So maybe it's not delusion, but basically what we're saying is like, in order to do great things, you need to think differently than than people, right? You need Outside to be, the box. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like... and. And all of us have a little bit of that in ourselves. And that allows us to have like a huge advantage over those people who go, I could never do that. There's so many people trying to do that. Like, yeah. I've never thought like that in general, but I do recognize that some of my thinking might be to, to seem to others to be delusional, but to me it's completely reasonable. Like mm-hmm. completely mm-hmm. reasonable. You know why? Because it's your dream. 
Yep. Right. God, then it's no longer delusional. That's then. right. Exactly. But other people might think it. They might describe it that way. To me, it doesn't seem seem I, that I way. I think God all I think God designed us all a certain way. He he all gave us something. And when we tap into that something, we accomplish our goals and our dreams. Somebody, mm -hmm. something tapped into you and said, you know what, shows you should be a comedian. Yeah. Something, mm -hmm. something hit Tammy and said, oh, she should be a hairdresser. Mm -hmm. Something hit Wax and said, Wax, you should be Wax. Because there's nobody <laughs> that could be Wax. <laughs> right? I'm serious. No real shit. So it's just like once that thing. I'm about to say, what the fuck am I? <laughs> a mermaid. Once, a mermaid. That, <laughs> once that thing gets turned on, you can't turn it off. Yeah. So sure. that that lets you know it's a part of you. What if uh, you heard somebody got fired four times from the same job? Would you like think like, ah, maybe that job isn't for them? No, I'd have to know. I'd have to hear the reasons. It, I'd okay, have to hear the reasons. What if a rapper gets dropped from a label four times? Do you think he should still try? I have rapping? to hear the reasons. All right, maybe there's different. I guess I understand I what you're experience, saying. Like, though, because one way experience to you're saying, one, you're saying, one way to interpret that could be, oh, this is not for me. This is a sign from God. And yeah. then another way, someone who might have a little bit more uh, dreaming in their thinking or delusion, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. might go, nah, this is just the road less traveled and it's harder to get there. And these are all trials yeah. and tribulations that I get there. So I guess what I'm trying to say is like, you need to have enough insecurity where you want to improve and be better but you need to have enough delusional confidence mm. where you keep on track and know that that's the thing you must do and nothing will stop you gotta be done what if we just call it confidence yeah confidence yeah confidence, right. confidence. that's what it is right? i'm using delusion you know, as like a, a hyperbolic you're term. saying like the yeah. steve jobs quote when steve jobs said you the crazy people are the ones who think they're yeah. who are crazy enough the people who change the world are the ones who are crazy enough to believe exactly. they are they really crazy no but yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah, that yeah, type yeah. of thinking might seem crazy to someone who is i always say stay dumb yeah. if, I'm, if i'm too smart i'm gonna go past it or something like that i'm so I'm so dumb. I'm do going after the things that I'm going after. A smart person will not be because uh, be uh, like, they're going to look and be like, uh, it'd be too difficult to get into the weed yeah, market. So they, many they, go, they read the books and worry about, oh, they, this this is going to cancel you. When yeah. you're reading all that shit, it's going to definitely deter you from all the things the way I went in. I went in yeah. a totally different way. So yeah. great you know what I'm saying? It, amen. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> okay. I, I, so it's kind of like every, a Forrest Gump kind of thing. Everything I'm doing because I was dumb. If I was smart, I would not be doing the things I'm doing right Damn, now. Damn, you think wax dumb? No, I don't think he's I dumb. Know that. Why he has like a Forrest Gump thing kind of going. But I'm like, just saying, if, if I was like, smart, no, 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 Forrest. <laughs> like, he's like smart, he's like, but presents as dumb. Super, yeah, literal yeah. all the time, but just exceptional at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just know myself. Do you? I do. I think therapy. Who are you? You apart? No, it's not. I Listen, I know. I know exactly. Pulling back those layers. No, I know exactly who I am. It's just that that's why I do the things that I do. I don't try to do things that, and that's not my lane, that I know I'm not supposed to be there. I don't give a fuck about all the other now, things. Now, see, that's interesting, too. I know my place. Shouldn't you step outside of your lane, though? He yeah, does. But, but he I started do. doing weed. He has a fucking paintball thing. I was he doing chickens. Chick what are you talking farm. about? This is like, you ever heard somebody who do anything things I do? But you yeah, just said you stay in your lane. I stay in the lanes that I know how to do. You know, you see me oh, read so the book you like anywhere? chicken, you like paintball, you like I'm just weed. saying, these are things I don't mind doing outside the box, but you're not going to see me be like, oh, I'm about to be a librarian. I'm not reading no fucking books with y'all. Yeah, all right. You know what I'm saying? Let's <laughs> 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 <That's> go <laughs> fuck my brain up. It's like, yo, what the fuck? No, it's not. It's actually going to make your brain better. I, don't, I, I like putting other things in my brain. Right. Like experiences more than like words. I got you. Okay. Uh, Forrest Gump. All right. Uh, very revere. Need advice from my guys on how to get over a six-year relationship with my girl ending. Wow, that's you, Tammy. How's that mean? Who told who, somebody told me it was in three six year relationships earlier? Earlier today, that was not me. Who was that? I, I, that told I, me that. Somebody, somebody just like said that. Somebody just said that. Six six six. Somebody just said somebody that. Just said that. Six, six, six. Oh, Mo, Mo, Lil Mo. Oh shit! You're right. Never mind. Damn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Uh, you gotta. Um. Damn, bro. Watch a lot of porn. It's going to take three years to get over the six year relationship. Yeah, yeah no that. way. Yeah, that's not to for fully a guy. get over it takes half the time. Not for a guy. To fully get over it? Nah, you be out of there in a minute. Just next yeah. time you like a girl, you don't even have to. It's not even fucking like you're going to get under something. You're going to be all right. And yeah. then uh, you're going to actually like a girl. Once you like a girl, you're going to. It gonna might be a career change. It might be something else. Love is that is, how it might, works for y'all? It might yeah. replace yeah, something I'm else. It might, it might replace with 20. a job. That love might replace with something else with a guy. I'm. Six years? Ouch. I don't know. Also, how small a town? Do you have to bump into her and shit? Yeah. You'd probably get away. Maybe that's why New York is easier. It's like, you could break up with your girl, live you in the same see. fucking neighborhood, not see her. Again. 200 other girls yeah, walking yeah, past right. every day. Yeah. Now you're going to be all right, bro. You're going to yeah. be all right, man. Find new people. 
That's it. More penises. Yeah. And then we try to like be better. So usually when we break up with someone, we try to but find get in another shape, penis is like oh, make yeah. more money, yeah. look better. Yeah. That look makes us feel better. Out on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you could have had this. This could have been us. Y'all. That's what we do. Huh. The getting shape part is the most important. Yeah, we but all do that. Up, we change our hair. We start getting in shape. If, I, if, I, if I'm only checking on you on social media to see how you look, mm -hmm. so you start looking. So there you and glowing go, up. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but yeah. you're also like, man. You, you get fat and you start looking crazy. That's why I left. I dodged fat. the bullet. Yeah, you feel like you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But at the same that time, if you lost that weight while we're together, maybe we're still been together. Whoa. Not, Holy not, shit. not in like a bad <laughs> way. I Whoa, so you dumped her because wow. she was fat? I didn't dump her because she was fat. That's what you said. She broke up with me. She was social distancing. <laughs> you know what I mean? She wanted more space. That's it. You know what I mean? She hated our bed. Yeah, she's like, I think we should take some space. I'm like, ain't you taking enough goddamn space? Look at you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking crazy out here. All right, John M1021. Would you rather have our oceans 100% explored or 25% of space explored? Ooh, that's a good one. That's nice. What is it? If you rather have our Would ocean. you rather have a our a hundred percent of our ocean is explored. Our twenty five percent of space explored. Twenty five percent of space explored. Nah, bro. The ocean, the ocean might be right. a lot ocean, more. bro. Because you know what? You're the ocean is actually the space. <sighs> Here we go. No, no. I'm telling Here you. Some go. people told me like the go. moon makes the water move. That's actually true. Yeah, Come on, side. talk to me. I can actually do this a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to learn <laughs> the space shit. I don't think nobody ever went up there. Can we even determine what 25% of space is? That's what I'm saying. We might have already did 25%. Yeah, that's what no, probably... that's a great you... point. Space is infinite. No, space is so big. How do you did 25%? Or at least the galaxies. Nah, but it, we've seen I mean, this spectrum. one galaxy, the Milky Way. That's what I'm saying. Like, if we did 25% of space, we would for real know big... if there was other life forms out for there. For sure. For real know. That's the only reason I want 25% of space. That being said, but what's down aliens, there though? Those aliens could be living down in the water. Oh, that's that's what I'm what saying. I think they at, though. The ocean would be way more popping. That's such a smaller. Area compared to and we space, can't go down right? there. Nobody's gonna go down there on vacation. You know how big the water is. The water is ninety percent of the world. Seventy five. Listen, every Earth, star right? you see is like another sun. Earth is ninety percent of the world. No, it's seventy. What? 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> how much? How much of what? Earth is what? He just said how much Earth the water is ninety percent. No, you're saying ocean is ninety percent of the Earth. Earth is not hundred percent of the world. No, it's not hundred percent of the world. The water is ninety percent. What's the last ten percent of the world, yo? Water. <laughs> How much is water percent? Seventy-five. In the world? Like 75. Right, that's cool. It's a couple of percent off. Uh, so water is seventy-five percent yes. of the world of the earth. That's what. So you that's a, yes. you don't water, know what's down there. Seventy-five percent of the world is water. Yes, it's probably aliens down there. They probably think, making us all look up for no reason. I they think down it's some there. shit that I would much rather see what's going on in the ocean. I'm not gonna lie, the ocean is way more interesting. Is it though? I think so because I know what's out there in space. Now you no, don't. you don't. It's more. It's it's things. How you know? We want to find it's out what they be. are. And what's crazy. more in the ocean? Just fish. Just yeah. weird looking fish. No. Listen, they actually know what, know what the shit looks like in the ocean. You don't know what aliens look like. We don't know what's all the way down there. And I'm going to tell you something else. I got another theory. You know what UFOs are? Mm. The rich billionaires from other planets. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I agree. They got dope cars. Ooh. UFOs. I saw that engines. theme too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Jeff Bezos of another UFOs planet. UFOs are the wealthy people of that other planets. They either the wealthy. Or I was thinking about this too. I was like, or are like they the richest or are they the poorest? No. Right? Not think about like the people that came to America. Oh. Right? Like pilgrims and shit like that. Motherfuckers trying to get away Bro. from oppression. Like, Yo. are they just trying to leave their Yo. country where they're getting they by like over Cubans? the Cubans? Are they space Cubans? They they're space the Cubans. Wall. What if there's so much <laughs> wealth on other planets and so much intelligence? So we got the broke motherfuckers. That's right. That even the poor and disenfranchised can travel through. Mm -hmm. They probably Mexican. But then it would be more of them. We would see them more, don't you think? Yeah. I think we do. We don't see them enough. You think you see them every single day? I think we do, bro. Nah. I think we wouldn't know an alien if it walked up to us right now. How do you know that I'm not an alien? You might. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You might be. That guy right there might move every night. I thought you were a black woman. I am both. <laughs> that's an alien. I am a black woman. <laughs> I am an alien. And I am Andrew Schultz. Listen, I would love what to What if I told you guys right now that I'm an alien? I, I would believe, believe it. It I believe be, it. It would explain everything. A whole lot. Remember how earlier y'all were trying to explain some more bothers that? That would explain everything to okay, it. Okay. I don't yeah. think I'm an alien, but I do have a curious thing about my birth that nobody has understood and my parents cannot describe. Let's go there. Adopted. Let's go. Let's explain. Um, my mom doesn't remember giving birth. 
My mom doesn't remember her water breaking. My mom, my dad doesn't, wasn't there for it. Uh, my mom was pregnant with me, with my dad. And uh, a week before the birth, nobody can account for. Amazing. You just well, maybe they it. were adopted. Duh. <laughs> she was adopted. pregnant with me for nine months. That's what she says. Duh. Duh. How she... would you know? You weren't there. <laughs> you were exactly. Where was you at? How would I mean, you I know? Saw the, I saw the pictures and like, <laughs> pictures ain't shit. <laughs> well, I guess so. I, I, do have, I do have blood work and everything that says that Allegedly. I Allegedly. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> did you do it? it? Say what? Did you swab the mouth? So I've, so I've like my parents out. So what do you think that is? Do you think it's possible? I could, I could, it's possible I could be adopted. Okay. Or the stork. Maybe that stork shit was real back stork in the day. Stork shit is real. Or it's possible that I could be uh, in an alien and that my mom was artificially inseminated. Or you was in a manger. Life form, and they had to deliver me because obviously I was going to be different than a regular baby. I think it's that one. I think it's adoption. I think it's an alien. Well, either way, I'm adopted if I'm an alien, right? I'm adopted by my mother. You Superman, mm. bro. <laughs> I'm Superman, dude. You fucking Clark Kent, bro. But isn't that weird? Like, and I've asked them about that, and they're like, yeah, we just really, really, I don't know. It's like a weird that's thing. Amazing. And I was like, that's like a really big thing for you guys to not <laughs> 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 That don't bother you? It yeah, should. it bothers me, Charlemagne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Tammy, so for a week tell Tammy before don't, be, you're born, don't say nobody knows about what was happening. This, was this the 70s? Mm, 83, 83, I was born. 83. 83, I was born. And then, the, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, there's just other weird shit. But like, uh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, what's the other weird shit? It's like uh, certain places we can't go. Huh? They might have just been doing some drugs. It's amazing. What the fuck? <laughs> Do you they go there? Just just everybody look just like you. What are you talking about? There's bro? a certain place we're not. You really Mexican? <laughs> no. Bro, <laughs> 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 like what you mean? Certain places we're not allowed to go, dude. And where? By Ashley Butcher's America? house? Uh, like multiple places. Like for example, I went when I went to the. Uh, you guys are gonna think I'm crap. Forget it. I don't no, no. I need to know. Ashley Butcher's house. I went to the. I went to the pyramids of Egypt and my parents promised me, they made me promise Don't cry. that I, uh, the big pyramids in uh, uh, Giza were fine. Uh, they made me promise that I would not go to, uh, <laughs> they made promise that I would not go to another uh, pyramid thing. Actually, the original pyramids that were like further south. And I was like, we don't have any plans on going there. And then I was, they were like, okay, well, that's Why? It. I don't know. That's a Manhattan. random request. <laughs> yeah. For and then, two people from Manhattan to make a Huh? Yeah. That is a why don't random you why don't you like Google? I went to the pyramids like. in Mexico and uh and uh <laughs> and they asked me uh what time of year I was going there. And I was like, uh Amazing. going there close to the summer solstice. And then they're like, oh, okay, have fun. And then that's all he said. <laughs> so like, there's been weird shit, and then I Yo, just don't ask about it. Government, we we investigating the wrong aliens. <laughs> yeah, right. like, what are we doing? <laughs> we investigating the wrong illegal aliens yeah. here. Like, what the hell is happening? I don't know. <laughs> now, see that? It was fine until you got to that part. <laughs> now I need to know, mom and dad, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. This is this is um yeah, it's just this is really an experiment about how dangerous fake news is. Because do you see how gullible these dumb motherfuckers no, are? No, 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 the son of uh, Kalel. 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 You are the son of Kalel. 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 You are the son of Kalel. You a sod, bro. Okay. <laughs> 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 no, of course my parents don't care if I go to the fucking pyramids. But isn't that interesting? Like, if you have a you compelling enough or... story, motherfuckers will just believe that shit. Like, I had you fucking locked. I you were starting to come bro. on board and wax like he bullshitting this whole fucking. Bro, I'm not time. gonna lie, you had a whole theory in bro, my head. I, I was I, like, I, I probably was the one I was believing you the most. You I was think? Like, I was like, yo, you nah, probably went out in the bullshit. pyramids. You see hieroglyphics of like white people with big noses and That's shit. That's how I was looking. I'm about you know what I mean? I just thought you your parents like? were I'm like, if Andrew drugs, just lays man. down That's next to a pyramid with his nose sticking up, like That's probably, probably why they told him not to go. Type of shit. <laughs> 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 yo, 
You remember when you posted that picture from Egypt? Me next to the Sphinx? That shit was funny as fuck. <laughs> and he put the nose <laughs> on the right. Sphinx. Because the Sphinx is missing the nose. So I had my shit filling in. But I was there, bro. Listen, if y'all Internet die, would y'all rather go into the ocean or to the space? Because I, I want somebody to just drop me off in space and just let me, like, put GPSs on me and stuff and let me float. Yeah, I think that might be the best thing for all of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'd be really dope. Like, why would you want to go on the ground? Just as, go in space. As always. Um, Tammy, thank you for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> thank make you for sure having you, me. Make well, sure you tune into the We space. Talk Back We Talk Back podcast with uh, Tam Bam and AJ. It comes out every Thursday. Correct. On every the Black Thursday. Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. Um, I think that's it. We did it, right, guys? Yes, sir. As always, if you listen to this no podcast, problem. you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. And you never know where that we're all from. You never know. I believe you. <laughs> Me too. I still believe you. I still believe you. You never know. No, I know because he was, he was like cracking up his voice. He was like crying about the cry. I heard it. I got good. Did I get you in or no? I felt you were in the beginning. Pyramid, yeah, in the beginning, I believe. You the pyramid, were, and then I when like, I said pyramid, you're like, no, right, he's just going. You, 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 you <laughs> to Mexico. I knew that that would get him, and I was like, that's what got me. Yeah, was, nobody I was, would I was believe cool. this. Like, if I say I went to the pyramids and they say don't go, there's like, there's just no way. But no. I knew that you would believe that. Nah. I believe, especially nah. because early I was talking to Troy from Earn Your Leisure, Peace. and they just came back from Jamaica, and his mom was born in Jamaica, and his mom always told him don't go back. To, I can't remember the name of the neighborhood, but don't go back to the neighborhood. But she had a valid reason because it's so Spanish dangerous. Spanish Teddy. And so she crazy. went, he went anyway. Spanish town. And had her on FaceTime. And she's on FaceTime saying, I told you not to go back. Like there's nothing there's dangerous, yada, yada, yada. So that I so when I, you know, I just heard that story earlier. So I was like, You you are you lost me when you said Mexican. Fetch. I said, You're not Mexican at all. Who said that? <laughs> he said he went to Mexico. <laughs> Turn off the podcast. <laughs> Turn off the podcast. No, Stop he went the podcast. To Asia. It's